What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Basement Show. We got a full round table for you. Ramon, Cheese, Greg, myself, and the guest of honor, Mr. Demetrios, is back in the house. It has been too long. People are asking about you, man. All right. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. dead. I have a story. He was just running his store (laughs) quite successfully, I might add. Yeah, yeah. You have a sister store possibly opening up soon. Uh, Fingers crossed, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Earliest would be 2020. Okay, well, you know that's like I mean? right we're around like, the corner. We're, we're breaking even, which is more than other stores. I mean, you know, New York City, we had a lot of, uh, you know, rest in peace moments for comic book stores, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, financially, we're doing a little bit better. We've been, like, on the right. up. And, like, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a guy trying to make money off of comics. It's kind of, you know, insane to think you could do that with the store. But uh, we're breaking even. I think that's I could do another store that breaks even. Yep. You know, yeah, your state real estate. Your next bet is to just start flipping shit on uh, the bay and Instagram and everything. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll give credit to me. We'll do that, man. That's that's a full time job, right? It's there. like it seriously is. Yeah. Anytime I see people doing that, like just buying it and turning it around, or even buying it, CGC it and yeah, turning yeah. it around, yeah, yeah. I'm always reminded of that scene in Gremlins Two. You know when they all got smart and started talking and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like they're in the clamp cable network building, right? Rainy, yeah. rainy and Gremlins. Not even that yeah. one. Like when, uh, when they're still kind of gremlin-y yeah. and they look down and there's all the ones on the phone and they're like, buy, sell, sell, yeah. buy, buy, yeah. sell, yeah. buy, yeah. sell, yeah. buy, sell, yeah. sell, buy. Yeah. That's, that's what I remember. Absolute wants to know what's up with your comic book. Oh, uh, yeah. What's up? It's millennials. Um, millennials. Okay, so three is out. I don't know if you guys know, but three is out. We have for sale at the store. Um, we are going to have an online store soon enough, but you could email or call the store. We can probably ship it out to you. Um, millennials 4, we're literally just... I, 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 so now the reason I'm here, folks, is because I finally have employees. I don't have to be there 24 7 managing. Hey! Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, she sold out. Good job. Yeah, hey, well, you can take a vacation now. I, I got Sergio no, no, no. helping me. I got, uh, Serge, you got Serge. Serge, uh, who's, who came with me from Midtown. Uh, new employees, Pete and Ainsley, and they're watching the story. Ainsley's watching the story right now. Um, and uh, so I have free time. I got to work on Millennials. Millennials number four is coming out. Millennials number three, featuring our own Pete and Roger, wherever he is, is uh, you know is uh, you know is uh, you know is out officially. Not available on Midtown's website because we release it during the time my store opened up. But I could probably get it in there. I you know again you could order it from our store. Um, and Millennials number four is, is is coming very soon. That's going to feature. Um, Remember former guest Tommy Walker from Tommy, Daredevil? yes. His character's finally going to debut in that issue. Um, his character's name is Deal Breaker. Um, a few other people who uh, donated to the uh, Kickstarter campaign are going to have their characters appear in that. And just honestly, it, you know, should be out by August, I think, at this point. You know? Looking forward to it, man. Good shit. That's thank like a month away. That's pretty I, great. I, very, I yeah, very close. I just want to petition to be the angry black guy in episode <clears> 5. You're, you're, you're the angry black guy in all the episodes. I <laughs> There you go. That's all I want. And uh, just in case anybody wants to know how to get in touch with Demetrios, hit up anyonecomics.com. And uh, you can always email him yeah. there. You can find him on Instagram. It's literally just his anyone actual comics. name, Demetrios Fragascatus. And I'm not even going to put that shit down there because if you down. can find him on your own by spelling that shit, he'll give you a 10% discount. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for, 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 for Pete's Space Reviewers, 20% discount, all right? Whoa, uh, Pete's I, Space I, Reviewers, 20%. <laughs> on your first order, all right? I can't give you discounts all the time. Fair but, enough. Uh, 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 That's fair. That's don't fair. try to spell Demetrius Christ House. Any, anything <laughs> to anyone comics, any message anyone comics will always get back to me, all right? Cool. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> we, got, we got Cantos. We got, uh, what, what else is hot? We got Marvel Comics Presents number sixes out there. We got Batman Dams number ones, man. Oh, the dick. The Full bat dick. dick. Bat dick. Bat dick, bat dick. Bat dick. yeah. I'm yeah. drawing in dicks in other Batman comics to make them sellable. I have a question <laughs> speaking of dicks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be a lot of dicks Why the fuck not? Thing. <laughs> but are you absolutely confident? Like, you have security cameras. you absolutely confident that your employees, not that they're stealing shit, but are you confident that they're not, like, slapping their nuggets on things that they know for a fact you're going to touch later on? Oh, no, 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 they are. Sir, okay. Serge <laughs> <Sir, laughs> hates me and <laughs> everything. Good. Because, oh, I yeah, mean, I sure. would. Every, 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 day, every day I work with Serge, he always suspiciously offers me coffee and shit. And he no, he's not nice. Mm-hmm. So I know that coffee's been somewhere, and then I drink it because I always need coffee. So, you know, that's... Uh, 
Uh, I'm feeling like so, like a Chris yeah. Rock in uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Like, with a laxative. You did, did you? <laughs> taste, yeah. taste yeah. the book of flavor. <laughs> <laughs> so much love. <laughs> Speaking of Chris Rock, I mean, weird segue, but yeah, he looks fucking jacked in the Dolomite movie. I don't yeah, know. Like he, yeah, yeah. I thought it was weird when Dave Chappelle looked jacked up when he first came out on Netflix, but I don't know. Chris Rock was always like this big. Now he's like... Wait, wait, there's Normal a Dolomite size. movie? Is he, is yeah. he playing Dolomite? No, no Eddie sure. Murphy's Dolomite. Eddie Murphy's playing Dolomite. Eddie Murphy's playing and, Dolomite? Yeah, so next I'm next concerned month. about that because, I mean, does Eddie Murphy do martial arts? Because Dolomite was kicking brothers, like, through windows and shit. But it was the 70s, so everything was just exaggerated as fuck. That so is also true. Eddie could do it. And yeah. poorly uh, contrived. Uh, like, how is there a Dolomite movie coming out when Black Dynamite exists? You know what I'm so, saying? This is this is this is the bio this is a biopic of Rudy Ray Moore Dolomite. Oh, okay. Oh, and I didn't realize. So this is the making of Dolomite, yeah. basically. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah. you so can't after Black Diamond. You can't do black exploitation. Shout out to Michael Jordan. Right that's, still, that's still that's still high high high. Oh, level still sure. one of the idols in my life. I, I want to meet him and then I kind of want to fight him. Well, like Michael J. Michael J. White. Yeah, don't get me well, started oh, on Michael J. White. Please. You know yeah. how I feel. Well, you yeah. know he's supposed to be at Comic Con this year. What? Yeah. Oh boy, here we, like, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, he's there often. I think like he like fucking like does a two co shit. He's got to do. This, he got to do one more spawn signing before they reboot it with Jamie Foxx, bro. If it's still happening. <laughs> it's oh still happening. God, it is. <laughs> Todd McFarlane actually has publicly stated that he will kickstart his shit if he has to. Yes. All right, nice. He has said that. Yes. Well, I'll like, kick in. I don't he care. Has the bank. Why would he Dude. kickstart? He's got Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx got money out the ass, man. Well, Jamie Foxx was also Electro, so for every Jamie, <laughs> oh, there's Electro. Yeah, fair enough. Just fair enough. No, but like, no. Uh, that's, uh, the name, the title is "This Is Dolomite." It's coming out on Netflix, I believe, in October, but it's going to debut at the Toronto Film Festival like, next month. Yeah, and they- the whole cast is ridiculous. Like it's. Fucking Eddie Murphy being Dolomite, it's fucking Chris Rock, it's fucking Wesley Snipes, it's fucking it's fucking Keegan Mike and, uh, Michael, Michael Keegan, King. Nice. It's fucking TIs in the shit. It's who's who of, of the black Craig, media. Craig Robinson's in the motherfucker. Like it's it's a shitload of people in this movie. So I know it's gonna be good. Didn't Murphy sign like seventy million dollar deal with that's Netflix? I don't think he signed a seventy million dollar deal to do fucking two stand ups. Well, so that's why Netflix oh, can't Damn. Two stand ups. Thirty five a pop. For an hour's work. To get Eddie Murphy his money. And no, they didn't. They just raised our prices. No, you know what? No, what? Thank you for that permission to be myself. Go for it. They Always. Grab my fucking gills. They can. They cancel fucking Two Can Birdie. What's that? Two Can Birdie is a spin off of fucking the BoJack Horseman shit. Yeah. And mind yeah. you, I never was a BoJack Horseman fan, but I love fucking Two Can Birdie. Two Can Birdie was fucking Tiffany Haddish and fucking Ali Wong animated. That shit was fucking hilarious, and they canceled it. I was like, God damn it, why? So I'm hoping. That someone gives them the one day at a time treatment and revive them and put them on another network. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, do it up. Get them on Hulu. Up, though. Like, it's a BoJack Horseman <laughs> spinoff. Can you even get it onto, like, Hulu or something like that? Hey, fucking, um, Sandman's coming on fucking Netflix and that's DC. Yeah. That, that's DC. <clears throat> and right. not for nothing, knock on wood, you might be saying the same thing about either Swamp <laughs> Thing come on fucking Netflix or fucking HBO Max. Do uh, it. Yeah, so do I it. Any odds on us seeing, and I know this is a bit of a stretch. But if they're doing Sandman, do you think we'll see, like, a Lucifer or Constantine crossover? I'm 300% sure we're going to see a fucking Lucifer crossover. Constantine, I'm not sure about, but I'm 300% sure we're going to get a fucking Lucifer crossover. Jesus uh, Rodriguez absolute... wants to know where Steve. What's that? Jesus Rodriguez wants to know where Steve. Steve, man. Woo. Steve Danino? Birthday Steve? Or Steve Cerrone? Steve Cerrone's never been on the show, thank God. <laughs> we you think survive. I talk a lot? We would never survive. We'll be 80 by the time we get out of here. <laughs> I love you, cuz, but Ab- you talk a lot. <laughs> Absolute sense. There's a reason oh. we didn't let this son of a bitch talk at his wedding. Just we say that much. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. That's funny. And I know Steve. And, and Cheeks, what's up, by the way? Yeah, we don't really call him Jesus. We call him Chico. Yeah. And it's not racist because his mom calls him that, too. Fair enough. Just well, saying. Uh, Absolute says, speaking of Kickstarter, did you see what Jason David Frank dropped for SDCC? I have no, not. Dropped. Dropped. Yeah, Absolute, you might want to enlighten us on that one. Because we're basically talking all things SDCC today. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, How's let's... that for a segue? That was really good. Yeah. Thank like, you. Like, props, my brother. Absolutely. 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 Thank you. Where do you want to start off, brother? I think let's talk Marvel shit. I mean, that's this I mean, is the major well. announcements of SDCC. 
We've got, let me, let's just give the rundown of what was announced. Now, mind you, these are movies and TV shows. Yep. So we've got Thor Love and Thunder, based mm-hmm. on the Jason Aaron Mighty Thor run. Uh, Hawkeye, which is going to introduce Kate Bishop, and also, according to Kevin Feige, is going to explore the Ronin years. Nice. We've got What If, which is the first animated uh, show that's going to hit on Disney+. With, Plus. Uh, with, that's uh, good. Which one the watcher? Jeffrey uh, Wright. Jeffrey Wright, yeah. Voice nice. actors that are the actors, right? Yep. yep. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Marvel Disney has spared no expense. Wow. WandaVision with uh, Tayona Paris. I, hope I'm, I think I'm saying that right. Tiana. Tiana, Tiana. Tiana. Yeah. As uh, I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable there. Yes, you did. <laughs> uh, she will be Monica Rambeau, so I'm assuming that this is... Which I've been oh. fighting for four years. I've been fighting for four years. I'm very she's, happy about she's, it. She'll she's, be full time. She's rather attractive. She's pure, undulterated beauty. She's Whoa. gorgeous. And I was also very thrilled when I decided to look up Monica Rambeau's uh, first appearances because there are several. She's gone through several iterations as a character yes. from Captain yeah. Marvel to Photon to Spectrum. And I've got actually four out of the five appearances. Was, so was it, yay wasn't me. She, wasn't she, did she have another personality before Spectrum? Uh, she probably did. Uh, it, was, it was, yeah, yeah, it was called Time Warner. He's such a oh, dick. God. Why do we bring you Who back? Who let him in? <laughs> Who let him in? Go back to the story. Um, we've got Loki, uh, which is going to follow his escape after Endgame. Blade starring Mahershala Ali. Did I get Mahershala that Ali. Mahershala, Mahershala Ali. Mahershala. Mahershala. Fucking with the syllables, man. So You can just call him Copperhead, man. Or no, uh, Cottonmouth. Cottonmouth. Cotton 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 which bothers me. Because Luke Cage and the rest of the Netflix shit yeah, is supposed to be man. MCU canon. No, it's out of continuity. I don't know. I don't want it to they, be out of continuity. I, I, I would like I, to believe that see, it's in. See, the thing in. is, they, ha- they haven't confirmed... Well, have they confirmed it or have they not? Because uh, uh, other... They, they confirmed it's out of continuity when... when mentions Doctor of the Battle Strange, of New York. When Doctor Strange opened up those portals and none of those defenders came out, that, that confirms they're out of continuity, man. Well, like, here's the thing, though. You had an indestructible black man who could have defended Spider-Man, bro. <laughs> and they didn't call him, man. He's not wrong. That's a, that's a, that's a He's not point. wrong. That's a fair point. <laughs> but even that being said, you gotta think about this. You gotta think about this whole fucking, you know, Marshall being fucking Blade. Think about, like, Doctor Who. How many Doctor Who characters have fucking came back and become Doctor Who? Yeah, but that's a low budget BBC <sighs> show, man. This is America. They're also, you know, it's the same Doctor. He just, uh, you know, we we like, spawns. Remember, Matt Smith was a fucking was a was a regular person on an old Doctor Who episode and became the fucking Doctor. Was he? Yes. I don't remember that. Yes. Really? Yes. I don't remember that. Yes. Sure. Peter sure. McCall. Peter McCall. Capaldi, dude, was dude. a was a was was an actor on fucking Doctor Who before he Can anybody Doctor. confirm that one? Because I don't, no, I don't I'm, know that. I was, I'm hundred percent. It's, it's BBC, right. man. BBC doesn't have a budget. Look at their damn costumes, man. This is America. This is How dare you, sir? How dare you, sir? <laughs> How dare you, sir? <laughs> also, also, there was BBC. another actress who was uh, in the Netflix shows who I believe played the mom in uh, Civil War that uh, yelled at Iron Man, right? Uh, Alfie Wood. Yes, yes, yeah, Alfie Wood. Who, yes. who, who, who was she in uh, the Netflix she, show? She was fucking, uh, she was, uh, uh, Black Delight. B- Black, Black Delight. Del- yes. Yeah, Black so, Delight, yes. Yeah. Mariah. Yeah, Black Mariah. 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 Yeah, Mariah. Yeah, Mariah. Mariah. So, so it's, there you go. It, it, it's, it's out of continuity, man. I'm no, sorry. No, or, or, you could just like. <sighs> there was actually a, a cut scene, uh, from Iron Man. Yeah. Where, uh, old dirty bastard was running around in the background. He was like, yo, Mariah! <laughs> and she turned around like, what? Yes, <laughs> Listen, this is, the, this is the one time I can say this and actually look true. For once, in the Marvel Universe, all black people look alike. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm glad he said it. That's two. Oh, it's only one that could say it. That's definitely like five David, or six. David Peralta says, uh, Kevin Feige said that Blade is not part of Phase 4, apparently. Uh, so we're probably looking at Phase 5 then, because it's going to be a while. Maybe it's going to be its own yeah. continuity, maybe? Cause well, because he's going to have to fucking train, probably, right? <laughs> I'm fucking good! Good! That's yeah. why we don't have a Finn joke scenario all over again. He did his best. He did not do his best. And if that was his best, fuck that. Yeah, I know. You asked him, 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 him from a dude that never fought before. Hold on, life. hold on. Can I, I, you just... You just yes, he's I right. can't get I can get past the was lack that really of fighting at the flower night. Was that really fighting? He, he killed the dude, man. You gave me. He did not. Oh, well, okay. technically he did, but yeah. no, he didn't. <laughs> you you just gave me the opportunity to actually use in context one of my favorite lines ever. Go for it. Uh-oh. His best. Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. 
Whoa. Wait, where's that from? Come on, man! A uh, Karate Kid? The Rock! Oh, uh, okay. I don't know all You didn't get that one either? I got um, it, I just... Which, which I'm one? sorry, I should have said it in the Sean Connery which? accent and swallowed Look, my tongue at the same Blade time. doesn't have to be a badass martial artist. But it's really no, cool if he is. He's about, at least got to know how to use a sword. But Wesley okay. Snipes, he'd raise so, the bar a lot, Look, honestly. F- yes, but you don't yes, have to go back to that also bar. Baby. But also, if yeah. Conan could learn how to use a fucking sword, auto sword snaker with his big ass arms, yeah. Ali can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. True. So I'm not worried about that. Yeah. I'm not worried about the weapons. And he also doesn't like have that. to worry about hoisting a big ass barbarian sword. It's a katana. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and also, katana. and also, let's keep in mind the only thing that was worse than Finn Jones' martial arts ability was the portrayal of his character listen, and the writing of his character. Listen, the first yeah. was the fact that he was running around with his shirt off way too damn much. Like a Looking star. like a damn hipster. Can we just agree that the first season of Iron Fist made you hate white people? Can we just agree that? Because there's a lot. Of, sure. Lot. Sure, that's when it started for me. Well, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> shit, that's not I mean, even shit, when it started for me. Millennials a hell of a lot more. <laughs> oh, God, yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 second season. Well, I can't bring the first. I still haven't brought myself to watch the second season. It was better than the first, but not great. You should. Look, look, I mean... Look, look, let, me, let me ask you all something. If Finn Jones, mm-hmm. with proper training, were to appear in Shang-Chi, would you guys be excited the, or would you guys be... The, somebody cool? else the will be writing out there. So yes. The yeah. caveat there is with proper training. Yeah. And if the yeah. man can start throwing some serious jump kicks, I will welcome him back with open arms. I, 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 I would yeah, because how they left off Iron Fist. How they live off Iron Fist? I didn't say that. Oh, wait. I mean, it's been it's not for a year. But no, yeah. Throw no goddamn cheese. Nah. With the glowing double barrel guns. Not yeah. double barrel, but he's, he's basically Orson. Yeah, or his name yeah. Was. They, 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 they jumped yeah, to a different okay. storyline. Um, that reminds me. Uh, on the subject of Netflix's Orson nonsense, Randall. yes, Orson Randall, yeah. Uh, Absolute had a pretty great question uh, this past week. Was uh, what movies. horrible piece of shit movie would you recommend to somebody to rickroll them and give me something besides Boondock Saints 2? Wild Wild West. Oh, God. You would tell people that that's an wow. awesome movie? Wow. Now, I, I do this. The only movie I've ever fell asleep on, and I paid money for that you shit. You evil bastard. That's, you evil bastard. <laughs> I do this with Marvel Netflix shit all the time. I tell people to watch Iron Fist and Jessica Jones. See, some people like those. Well, some Nobody people... liked Wild Wild West. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, Sama Hayek does have her ass out in one of them little unbuttoned nah, flappy she things. she didn't do enough. She'd have to go like full desperado to like even, make even, that movie even watch. Even was like, that's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he said it. Did and he really? He turned out a Matrix for that movie. Wow. <laughs> but mind you, it would have been different. He was he going to be Morpheus or Neo? He was going to be Neo and wow. Morpheus would have been Val Kilmer. Yeah. So oh my God. Things worked out for a reason. Oh yeah, yeah. thank God. Yeah. The stars aligned for us. Which, but which, great segue. Um... Today, freaking uh, the trail for Jonah. Ooh, Jonah Hex. J- Jonah, 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 Jonah Hex. Jonah Hex. Jonah Hex. Jonah Hex. Yeah. Maybe either that or that either that or the Judge Dredd. Movie. Mind you, side the, note: the first I one was, yeah. was, was st- Sly Stallone. Dude, dude, he was, hes the law. That's a great movie. <laughs> 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 it's a fantastic movie. Pete likes fantastic. shit movies and puts them in some good. No. That's right. Judge wasn't that bad. Man was the first bad. one? Demolition Man is fucking awesome. Yeah. Demolition Man is great. I will great. not get okay. anyone. Demolition Man was dope. Judge. Demolition yeah, Man was dope. No one disparages right Demolition Man. I agree with Demolition Man. The second Judge Drove was better than the first. I said around. Carl Urban was Carl better. Carl Urban was awesome. That's, 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 that's a phenomenal movie. Him and Lena Headley and that fucking fucking that, that fucking oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I watched that shit with my mom. I was like an old conservative prices. Christian she was loving it. Prices. I just, yeah, Salma Hayek was better in Dogma than fucking Wild Wild She was Man. better in, uh, from Dawn Till Dusk. Ramon yes. has a valid point. I do watch really horrendous movies horrendous. and enjoy them. Yeah, he, Mostly yeah. horrendous horror movies. I got, I, got, I got a great movie for you. Oh, Jesus. Watch it yet. Okay. Kung Fu Cannibals. Oh, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. So, a, 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 is it real? It's real. Cruise <laughs> of the world's greatest martial artists is uh, being set up to land on an island where zombies are are gonna eat them after doing kung fu on them. Oh my god! This so, is amazing. so 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 the cruise goes through like. <laughs> Please be real. Please be it's, real. It's hundred percent real. They go through like like uh I'll like confirm it now. I'll confirm it now. Oh, okay. Well, why did they confirm? I'm telling you, it's real. Why can't you trust it's you? Why can't it's you trust me? Right, right. You. So 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 they go through like like the. What's the kung fu? Oh, there's drugs. Kung fu cannibals. Shit. Yeah, it's called kung fu cannibals. They get attacked by pirates. The cruise goes for budget before they land on what's supposed to be the grand prize. Which is this tropical island, but it's actually a, a zombie 
place that needs where the zombies are grandmasters. By the look on his face, I think oh it's real. God. Who need to eat <laughs> who, need to, who need to eat other you know who need to eat other martial arts. Guys. Yeah, it's also called raw force. It's Come called firm. Kung Fu Cannibals or Raw. Oh my god, it's from 1982? Yes. Oh, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Put the graphic up. Put the graphic up. Put the graphic up. It's got, it's yeah. got corny Kung Fu, it's got tits, and it's got zombie makeup. Of course it's got tits, it's the 80s! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this beat my choice, which was Velocipaster. <laughs> what? No, you yeah. love No, it's a priest no, no, don't who does Kung what. Fu and oh, turns man. into a Velociraptor. Oh, you gotta watch so Raw bad. Force, man, and not the porno. That's that completely Raw different. Force is the fucking that is a porno. It's the name of a uh, Kung Fu Cannibal, also. It's Raw Force and Kung Fu Cannibals. Oh, right. this is gonna be Absolute amazing. Absolute says, I'm still waiting for you to watch Thanks Killing, Pete. I've seen Thanks Killing. Yeah. With, the, with the killer They're turkey, like, yeah. Are there three Thanks Killings? Oh. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I have are. my pick for for a troll movie. By the way, Ginger Dead Man also mm, perfect. Troll Two. Troll Two is the best troll movie. Jason X. Jason X is a fucking I great like movie. Jason X. Jason X is dope as fuck. He's all cybernetic and shit. It's pretty. It's pretty dumb, but like. still boasts the best death scene in any horror movie: the liquid nitrogen yeah, scene. Yeah, that was a great scene. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What about what about when he grabs a sleeping bag and just like. Beats them to what was that when they were doing the snare, the the yeah, you like know the hologram yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah or Chud, Chud's great. The stuff. Yeah. What happens when yogurt yogurt's back? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. We are missing the like the point. <laughs> the newest, greatest movie that you need to see and if you haven't already. Zombievers. 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 They are beavers that are zombies. What? Yeah. Yep. Shout out to John and Al Kaplan. I've officially checked out. I went to college with their sister Caroline. That's how I met them. They're also the guys behind the new Critters TV show. Nice. Oh, no. Another thing to add on to. Granted, it was better than I thought it was. The Meg was actually fucking good. Meg's awesome. It's fucking great. Like. It's fucking good. <laughs> it's Jason Statham well, fighting a giant shark. Like, that, no, yeah, that yeah, and fu- no, that and fucking uh, Creep. Creep. Oh, wait. Crawl, 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 sir. Oh, crawl. Oh, I didn't see Crawl yet. Crawl, I want to see good. that. Crawl's that good. shit is basically yeah. Florida Jaws. Yeah. yeah. Crawl's yeah. good. Thank you, Skeets. How we go from San Diego Comic Con Marvel to like Crawl? The Meg. I don't know. So well, 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 but it happened organically. We're coming, we're coming back. We're coming back. That's bad. You had a segue you were coming back to. Do you oh, remember what it was? It, it was, uh, we had, this is just backtrack. We talked about... Finn Jones, Finn Jones and then Iron Fist, hey, and then Kung Fu Flicks and stuff. Can I give you my movie idea for, like, a crawl jaw? Who's Assassins? What? Who's no, that? you should save that because someone's going to steal it. No, 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 I want, I want to steal it because I want to see it happen. What's but that? we should make it. You should tell us so yes. we can do yeah, it. It could be, it could be any more productions. Say it. I'm say it. Any more productions. You can, like, it's it's a, called Amoeba. It's a fucking giant amoeba that... Will I'm not totally people. certain sci-fi hasn't done something like that yet. They have. Yeah. They have? They did a movie called Amoeba? Yeah. Family Guy did They did it. Five-Headed amoeba, Shark, for fuck's sake. Family Guy did it. The sequel, by the way, to Three-Headed Shark. Nice. What? You don't watch enough sci-fi movies. I really don't. Uh... There's not just Sharknado, man. No. Oh, my God. Granted, granted. You watch too much of these shits. <laughs> <laughs> That's reverse. So like when Ramon asked me like, "Hey, did you watch this show yet?" Nah, man, I'm busy. He, yeah, like this is why he just shakes he, his head at me. That means that means he's busy watching Sharknado Some and he's cuddling his pop figure. Like he's petting it like it's Mr. Bigglesworth. You know, if, if you're, Let's go back to San Diego now. Okay. <laughs> you heard about the movie Zombie Italian Comic Fan? Not yet, but I'm I'm liking it. <laughs> <laughs> to me, they are absolute. To me, they are. <laughs> Did you guys see? We'll come back to Marvel stuff in a little bit, but while we're you know you brought it up, sharks and stuff. Did you by any chance see the Funko Pop exclusive for San Diego of Jaws eating Quinn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm sure it's. Over I need that in my life. EBay. It's actually not horrendous. It's fifty five bucks. Oh, geez. That's not bad. Still, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. That's, that's not bad. You're right. That's still considering. Worse. That's still cheaper than the Master Chief Halo 4 one that I'm still trying to get my hands oh, Man, we all just got to chip in and get that shit for you for your birthday so you just like, stop ser- whining about seriously, it. Seriously. No, fuck that. We just do like a GoFundMe. We should do a GoFundMe. What we need is like $70. Give me the shortest GoFundMe and, 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 hey, and, and it'll succeed. It'll work. Yeah. GoFundMe. We need... You can dip your nuts in fucking chocolate sauce and sign it for people. That'll be their prize. 
I'll do it. There we go. I'll do it. You get a and I'll make sure I shave first. Here's yeah. the way I look at some shit for... Yeah, nothing? I got nothing yeah. with that? That was great. Wait, I didn't even hear you. I'm sorry. Get a little cheese in your chocolate. Nothing? You should dip it in cheese. You should dip it in cheese. You should dip your nuts in cheese. <laughs> no, I'm way too excited about fondue. this. That's the... Shit you hear in the basement. You should dip your nuts in cheese. <laughs> Number, number 10. Cheese and chocolate. <laughs> the next... Welcome to Thursday night, folks. <laughs> Cheese and chocolate should be the next buddy cop movie starring you guys, man. Cheese and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. We've got a I mean, fucking I mean, Kickstarter. I mean, We've got a I'm Kickstarter. Camera, Bob. Oh, oh. Yeah, I, I can't even. And I can't even. Chocolate and cheese are out of line. God damn you, I am the line. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's your fault. Two things. <laughs> In, in this day and age, you can't fault. have the white guy having top billing. It's got to be chocolate and cheese. All right. One. Two, can I be the Ice Cube character? I want to be the angry fucking police chief. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. This actually needs like, to You want to be the shit? <laughs> I, think we, I think I see the new Pete Spaceman holiday movie. This is why. <laughs> You're not a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shit we should have a go for me page on. Yes. You see fucking chocolate and cheese, the fucking YouTube movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. You were a Greek terrorist that no one knew that existed. You could be that. Yes. They, they only have one because they call it before. Fucking black people and white people. Oh, some shit. Black people, white people. It's only twenty minutes in. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, but uh, we're going I mean, to hell. On the subject of Funko, for a hot second, when it comes to like exclusive shit like that, that's only available at Comic Cons, I, I take a lot of shit into account of what you have to fucking do to actually yeah. get Acquire said Funko them, stuff. Wait, yeah. Hours, yeah. yeah. All, you're basically ruining your entire Comic Con experience to get one or uh, however many Funko pops you want. I think they get limited to like two or three, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you can flip this shit for maybe double or like a little bit less than double the price. Yeah. I'll fucking give you like if you pay twenty dollars for the shit, I'll give you forty for spending your day on that motherfucking line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, uh, you can have it. For example, this one. How many of y'all know about the Black Cauldron? It's one of sure. Disney's most unsung movies, and I say unsung because it just might be the only Disney movie to boast not a single fucking sing along. No, no, Songs of the South. That's an Alabama song. Country music. You, you can't contest me on country music, son. I grew up to country music. Wait, no, no, was there a Disney wait, movie called there, Songs of the South? Was there, was, there a, was there a sing along with Up? Because it was depressing as fuck. I don't remember if there was. But that's Pixar. No, I don't yeah, think that yeah, would be. Yeah, I think yeah. it was before yeah, Disney bought it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So this this was a Amazon exclusive that premiered at SDCC, but I managed to get the shit on Amazon for oh, only shit. about 40, 40 bucks? Nice. 45 maybe? Nice. Something like that? All right. But Black Cauldron is still one of my absolute favorite movies, and it's one of those things that. old, too. Yeah, it's like 1984 or so, wow. and it's creepy, man. You gotta watch it. The Horned King will give you nightmares nice. for real. That sounds like a good point. I think I mixed that up with the uh, Sword in the Stone. Well, that did it. I think he mixed that up with Sword in the Stone. Yeah, my old. <laughs> and I also acquired for myself. Thank you very much, uh, Royal Collectibles. I'm about that I got shit. my Red Flash, Red Death red Flash. Death. I'm jealous about that shit. That's that just nice. It's That's shiny and everything. This dope. is not an exclusive at all. This this is readily available at uh, many of your LCSs I'll all around. Pre exclusive, so all only comic stores get those. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pre exclusive means. Uh, so does that mean anyone comic is going to have this? Where you sold it? Oh good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had one. Cuz I had one. I only had one request. Wow, that Cuz would you mind? Good job. That still only counts as that's one. A, that's a good. That's a good flex. Good thank job. You, thank yeah. you. That's a flex. That's yeah, a total the, flex. The, the one, the one rumor Funko Pop that I heard about that was at SDCC was fucking. Um, they had. God damn it! Why does this get out of my head? Oh, they have Red Goblin as a Funko Pop. Red I didn't Goblin. see that. Yeah, nice. no, I think a rumor about that. I have not confirmed it. At all. I am. Yeah, I, I, I've seen. I think I've seen I'll just about all that. of them. I actually would want that if that exists. Yeah, absolutely. I would oh, yeah. want that. I forgot Red Goblin existed, man. That was like a year well, ago. Well, he's well, in the comic. Back. Like he's the new the villain currently in the in the Spidey comics right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Nick Spencer comic. They just brought Red Goblin back. Yeah, yeah. Bring, bring him back. Right and now. yeah, Ryan Otley shit. It's awesome. Uh, no, I don't uh, remember seeing that. Is it Kate or is it Norm- Norman again? Is it Normie or Norman? No, it's Norman. It's Norman. 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 Oh, okay. Kate wants to know, uh, Pete, did you get your hands on the G.I. Joe Ash can from SDCC? 
Oh hey. shit! There oh, thank apparently you, there's an ash can. Uh, now there was. I actually sent shout out to my boy Clyde again for coming through in the clutch, grabbing me that J. Scott Campbell Black Cat variant with Spidey in the tuxedos all around, and there's Felicia in the middle. Uh, I also sent him money to get me a bunch of GI Joe stuff at SDCC. Uh, it was a uh, variant covers to issue two sixty four. Uh, there was like 10 different Snake Eyes covers, but they were delayed and now are now coming to NYCC, in oh, which shit. case, at least now I've got home turf advantage, but I might have to jump kick an old lady to get at these, and I give a fuck, I would go Arashikage on her ass. You would. I will. You would. Uh, yeah. That said, I'm unsure of any other G.I. Joe stuff. I know there was... A Transformers G.I. Joe crossover, which I don't subscribe to. Uh, That's the only one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, even if it had Devastator on the cover, I still wasn't having it. <laughs> um, I'm not sure about an ash can. I'll have to look that up. But if you have a picture readily available, feel free to send can, it on can, over. Can I, can I give you a quick uh, Larry Hanna story? I love Larry Hanna stories. So we had him at a signing for a store, right? Yep. And it was uh, it was basically like... We had four creators doing a signing. It was Greg Pack, Larry Hama, um, it was uh, uh, Jerry Ma, who was um, who, who was more of an independent guy, and a uh, Caitlin Yarsky. If you guys read Coyotes from Image Comics, she's the artist on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good shit. Yeah. Yeah. So it was all four people there, and and it was basically a kung fu festival plus signing. So we did like uh, a couple of movies, including Iron Monkey and the signing, right? Nice. So the creators showed up. Jinx. And uh, and uh, I did what I normally do with signings like this. I offered them all drinks or beer, right? And so they all took one, except for Larry Hama. Larry Hama says, uh, do you guys have any coffee? And I'm like, I'll, I'll run out and grab you one, sir. So I ran out of Dunkin' Donuts. It was in the snow and stuff. I ran out and grabbed Dunkin' Donuts for him, right? And I'm like thinking to myself, all right, Larry Hama's not a drinker or whatever, right? So like everyone says beer. I, I come back, I give Larry Hama the coffee. The motherfucker pulls out a flask, dumps it into yes! the Yes! Yes! <laughs> you did an Uncle Chuck. You did an Uncle Chuck. You did an Uncle Chuck. It was like, it was like beer... I'm not doing beer. No, see, I'm doing my. That's you know, an old fashioned Irish because coffee. he's doing him. He's doing him an Irish coffee. That's exactly what that <laughs> that's is. That's a wake I love up call. Is what that <laughs> is. Call, call yeah. Uncle Chuck, man. Where I'm away. That's Uncle Chuck. <laughs> you know, like, awesome. Like, I remember. Yeah, like, yeah. I remember that's an old fashioned badass that right was there. Me every morning, like I don't have like fucking like probably like this much of Jameson in my fucking my tumbler of fucking coffee. That's how I start my work. Sorry, can't beat that shit. Start the same really way uh, Larry Hammer both starts it and ends it, apparently. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I mean, hey, listen. Wide awake drunk. Why the fuck not? He did what he loved. Yep. There actually weren't, like, too many crazy SDCC exclusive Funko Pops. There were a lot of really cool toys. Uh, they had the Marvel superheroes, the ha- the Toy Biz Hasbro one. The Night Monkey, had- Night Monkey. No, they had a Night Monkey one. You, you said the Night Monkey one? No, yeah. I saw the Hulk, the uh, you know the old school nineties packaging one of the Hulk. That's like seventy five dollars. That's just stupid. Show, a fucking Hot Toys. They had a fucking Night Monkey one. Was- oh, it was probably Hot Toys because they had all the different Spider Man outfits. Yeah, yeah, the Night Monkey. They had the the Mister Negative one. They had the fucking the Mister Negative one was fucking. Fire. Yes, it was. Yo, like they had that the I'm neon like, black and green one. Yeah, they, they had, had the Iron uh, Spider one, which I just jizzed all over my goddamn computer <laughs> looking at. <laughs> Number twelve. I'm buying that <laughs> motherfucker. I don't care how much it is. I need that. I passed on the Punisher War Machine one, which is a big surprise even to me. I'm getting that is myself. Surprising. Why do you pass on it, man? Because it was four hundred and seventy-five fucking dollars oh, for a goddamn toy. That's comic book money right there. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. won't balk at five hundred dollars for a comic book, yeah, yeah, yeah. but for a toy, man, that's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Spider-Man, the Iron Spider suit was one of my favorite moments yep. from the original Civil War yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. because you know that, I, especially I, the Michael Turner cover. Yeah, yeah. I've actually that shit. was I, dope I, 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 as I, fuck. God. God I bless you and God rest your soul. The original is still Rattles. one of the best Plus stories best. because that yeah. story came out of nowhere where all of a sudden fucking Cap and Iron Man are at each other's throats. Yeah. And yeah. this is really before re- the, like, the days when Marvel, DC, they kind of started ruining their own stories. Because I still remember the end of which when my cousin, you and me is in the fucking diner 
getting our breakfast before going to work, mm. and my cousin texts me my condolences for Captain America, and I'm like, the fuck is you? What? Oh, dude, yeah. And that's yeah. when we found out Captain That was got how we killed. found out, yep. This oh, was not on the internet. Shit. It was not anywhere. The issue dropped that day. Yeah, yeah. We went to the fucking comic shop that was like 10 blocks from work. All the way, like, up fucking a goddamn hill up, like, Forest Park and got that shit. Yep. Oh, shit. And then yep. I went to Midtown and got two more. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I think, dude. I, I think I remember going to Midtown and getting it from We had a, we had a line. Yeah, we had a line. Man, that coffee like, shop made no, some good like, fucking egg sandwiches. This is the one thing I love about Demetrius. It's the best egg sandwiches. Demetrius, you, like, yeah. actually, like, he gave me special treatment. Cause you know, cause like I used to work for UPS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> special <laughs> treatment. Special treatment. <laughs> well, he brought the package. We give you special treatment. He, I, I mean, I mean he's he's packing, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's hey, it. Thank, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for knowledge. Yeah, well, this is what I'm here for. Thank you so much. But like, no, like sometimes like there'll be a line coming to get the shit. I just come out and hey, you know, I got your package. Oh, you're here. Here you go. Just bring me up right there. And I'm like, everyone's like, what? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my grandmother did for the death of Superman. Nice. Swear to God, for fucking uh, Jim Hanley's universe back when it was right next to the Manhattan Mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I asked her to go get it while I was in school, and she did like the line is uh, uh, down the block. And my grandma was like, "Oh, people online, just walks right in, goes up to the counter. What's everybody online for?" Guys like, "Oh, this." She's like, "Oh, can I have one? Yeah, sure, sure." <laughs> <laughs> you gonna tell an old lady to go back and wait on the line? Hell no. no. Fuck no. Uh, Props to grandma. Shit. Where's, my, that, where's the whiskey at? Yeah. I bought a new McCallum, actually. This, I've never had this one before. This is a McCallum Classic Cut. Whoa. Setting my alarm now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Probably a good call, sir. I'm so glad I'm such off this a weekend. Great noise. Really I actually is. have a four day weekend myself. Nice. I'm, I'm off tomorrow. I'm covering you tomorrow. Suck a bag of dicks. Uh, right. I will finish this first before I reload. Suck a bag of dicks. I am off tomorrow and <sighs> it's my. Gross. Highlight of my shop was when Greg covered for Gerald. What was that for what? Joel said the highlight of my shop was when Greg covered for Gerald. Oh, nice. Um. Dude, the thing is with Civil War, it was the most engaged I ever saw fans out of anything. Like, yeah. fans arguing, and like, it, you know, it was a McNiven. There was delays yep. and stuff, and, and Marvel kept releasing, like, one shots and stuff, and keeping people involved, and keeping people interested and stuff. Like, the twist, no one saw Thor coming in, and uh, oh, yeah. being on Iron Man's side, then it was a clone, then he killed Black Goliath, and all that shit. Yeah. Nobody saw half that shit. Punisher killing, uh... Uh, Jack O' Lantern and um, uh, I don't remember what the other Punisher game fucked up by Captain America. He's just taking it and then, exactly yeah. Yeah. because oh, he didn't fight Captain America. Yeah. And then yeah. and then and then lastly, like like the fact that Cap even lost the war, like surrenders at the end of it, even yeah. though he had it in a bag. Like no one saw any else just coming. And like Marvel tried to replicate Civil War every year after that. Yeah, and they never and Civil War two sucked it. balls. What? Oh, I don't know it, what you're talking it, about. It, it, I, it, no, yeah, no, 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 I never had it. Necessary. However. I told people not. To, first time ever, I told people not to fucking buy, buy that Civil book, War Two. And it, you know, it cost <laughs> company money, man. Not the first time that <laughs> Cap has kicked the Punisher's ass, uh, and wouldn't be the last either. If you remember the Punisher when he was running around with uh, Cole Alvarez, mm -hmm. uh, the, you know the, the girl that was mm -hmm. like his fucking assistant partner in crime. No, I remember. And that. he fought the Avengers. Do you, mm. do you not remember? She was that? a redhead too, was wasn't she? Punisher Warzone. Like Another yeah. redhead. It was the so new like right six ish. No, 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 no. This was the new shit. Uh, I don't know, four, 13, 14, 15, something like that. Uh, okay. He he was on the run, yeah, and yeah. the Avengers were now chasing him down. So it's like a six issue oh, mini. Yeah, 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 First yeah. to go after him was Wolverine, who basically just warned him and said, Yo, the Avengers are sick of your shit and they're coming after you. Thor yeah. didn't bother. Thor sat and had beers yeah, with him, yeah. which is awesome. <laughs> and he kicked everybody's fucking ass with rubber bullets and everything because he wouldn't hurt the Avengers because they're the good guys. Was Warzone Greg Rucka? I oh, don't remember who Warzone wrote that one. Was shit. Um, God damn it. No, Rucka did. But Rucka. he. At the end, they fought all of them together against him, minus up. Thor, in an amusement park. And it finally took Captain America to jump him and take him down because he wouldn't fight against him. Captain America because he, he him so much. loves yeah. him, respects him completely. And yeah. he was like, like, stand down. And he was like, sir, yes, sir. Whoa. And that was it. And it, it was just... It, 
I love shit like that in comics. Yeah. Like, when shit is written good, I actually, I had this idea for the quest There for is question. a line that the Punisher will not cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this idea, which is why after Cap was killed, he became Captain America for a right. little while. Yeah. Which is why it's a premise camp. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he killed them all. Yep. I had this America. idea for a question, and I'm, I'm really eager to hear all of your answers. Go for it. And all of your answers as well. Joe Pesci. Please put them in the comments. Yeah. Okay. Email us, questions at PeteSbasement.com, because I will be happy to read this next week, b- week after, whenever you send it. Who is your favorite character, and what is their most defining moment? Whoa. I don't That's care a deep question. who your favorite character is, is an easy one. Mm. But I want to know what their most defining moment is. is in your eyes, there's, there's no correct answer. What do you think it is? Uh, I, I, you don't have to answer this now. This is, this is a question that you might have to think about. We no, can I revisit know, I, this. I know what I'm thinking about. It's a cheat because it's two people. It's okay. Cheat. First one is Storm, which she took the team during the fall of Mutants to the Siege Perilous. Nice, nice. Roma. That was a good one. That, that, good right, that right there. I miss like, those characters. Yeah. Roma and... Yeah. No, no, no. Fuck, the Outback crew was the fucking one of the greatest teams of all time. And yep. they never get the credit they deserve. But I remember that whole fucking shit. She just got her fucking powers back. She's like, listen, we need to we need to do this to save the world. Yeah. We don't know what's on the other side. We may die on the other side, but we have to go. Yeah. And like that right there is like, yo, you're a fucking badass. You're a leader, and and you're loved. I was in on that. The second thing to me was Superman's death. What? That's what Batman said, man. Batman <laughs> said that the last time you mattered was when you died. And that was Infinite Crisis number one. Yep. <laughs> 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 no, Damn. I, I, no, I remember... I remember Batman's I, a cold-hearted no, fuck. I'm, 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 I'm like fucking 16, 17 in high school. Yeah. And, I, and I'm fucking like, you know... I'm buying, I'm buying the fucking uh, the lead, the lead in to the story. And the motherfucker died. Yeah. You at, the, at least I thought at the time. Yeah. I was like... This was before the revolving door. Yeah. yeah. Superman... Built the revolving door of death in comics. Oh, basically. no question, no question. He, he died three times already. Yep. <clears throat> and I remember, like, okay, he's dead. He's gonna come back next issue. I knew he is. Then they bring up the they never the fucking the super the soup yeah the Superboy super Steel the Eradicator well, the like, Pretenders like months later the Pretenders they had the funeral they had yeah, yeah. yeah. and like, it was so it was so cerebral it was so real to me I was like is this it it I was like I know he's coming back but this feel like this is it. Mind you, I'm fucking 16, 17, so I don't know any better. Right. But like, we didn't know us any better at the time. The story yeah. kept on going and kept on building, like, yeah, and yeah. all the fucking, like, That's all it. the fucking John, uh, was it, uh, Bogdanov? Yeah, yeah, ba- yeah, Bogdanovy. Bogdanovy. Yeah. yeah. His art was fucking stellar in that yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 Man of Steel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, you know, then, like, everyone started popping up, and then, like, you know, you see that, obviously, he came back. But that moment when he died, and mind you, I wasn't fucking Dan with Dan Jurgen drew him dying. Yes. yes. Like, Dan, yeah. Thank you, Dan Jurgen. Yeah. I wasn't fucking with Superman like that, but I still was reading the book because you know what? But you respected Superman. I mean, it was yeah. Superman. It was Superman. I respected yeah. him. Like, at that time, I was like, my main shit was I was all about fucking Batman, Detective Thomas with fucking apparel, fucking Brave Football. I was all about that whole fucking line. Anything that they did, yeah. I was all about. Yeah. So when the, the Death of Superman was starting coming and doing everything, I was like, all right, I'm going to pay attention to it because I mentioned it to the. They're, they're kind of testing it in fucking the Justice League book and the other books. I'm going to pay attention to it. And I got invested. And then when he fucking got his ass fucking laid to him and died, I'm like, yo. But he like, won. He still he won. Still won. Yep. He still won, but just like, I still remember the fucking, the, the fucking, the, the, that the, double punch scene. Just yeah. Yep. And, yep. A, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the double page panel with yep. fucking Lois holding fucking Clark. Yep. Like yeah. he's dead. Wait, yeah. you, you said he and won. Jimmy Olsen snaps a picture. He like, did beat him. Be that yeah. was a draw. I, I, I my answer to Still won. Be. No, a draw. He was still talking when Doomsday was unfucking conscious. No, I he won. Not, I, I, not nothing else. I think it was a win. You know why? Because like Doomsday, even you, he ball. died yeah. last. Even he won. Though, <laughs> even though, even though Superman died, <laughs> Superman saved the world from Doomsday. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And Doomsday got captured. I would consider it a win too because. Doomsday was still going to go through the Daily Planet, and he stopped them at the Daily Planet. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Doomsday didn't achieve his goal. Superman did achieve his goal. That's why it's a win. You have an answer for that one? I do have an answer. Uh, it's a Stan Lee creation. Not a lot of people know about it. Uh, she's called Stripperella. Oh, my God. And it was when she stripped. That's her defining moment. I mean, hey, it's in the name, right? Shout out to you, Pamela Anderson. Yeah. 
Based on Pamela Based Anderson. Based on Pamela Anderson. Hope you're well. You have one? I hope you're well. Oh, uh, yeah, when Thor let Ragnarok happen. Like, oh, Thor let Ragnarok yeah. happen. Ragnarok. Oh, it's usually a cycle thing. Yes. So he decided to break the cycle. Which one? That was Danger right before. No, it was before. That was before the whole Oklahoma the, shit. The, uh. Wait, that Olivier. Was that Simonson, was it? Yeah, so it was the Probably. Heroes Reborn yeah. run. Like, that was Simonson. Yeah, Reborn. the whole Simonson. Yeah, and, um, Simonson. It was yeah. right before the well, Olivier Simonson and Copiel back. series. Yes. And when all the gods, like, fell to earth and shit, uh-huh. and then the next and thing he brought them all back, except for his father. Yeah. Yes. And that was another interesting thing, like, damn. This oh, that was a dis- that, disassembled. That yeah. was Thor Disassembled. Yes. I think yes. that was Dan Jurgens who yes. wrote that, too, actually. That some... No, you're right. That was you're fucking right. I think Dan Jurgens right. wrote right. that. You're right. You're right. I love that so much. Yep. You got one? I'm going to uh, I'm gonna wait a minute. I'm going to think on it. I, since I had some time to think about this, uh, I try to think of all of my Clone Saga. My favorite cat. Yes, absolutely. The Clone Saga. You're a dick. dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, but it is Spider Man. Like yeah. I, I, I went through Batman in my head. I went through Punisher, who, as you know, is my yeah. spirit animal. But I mean, I, I think we've talked about Punisher enough here with just him. The respect that he has for Captain America has always been really cool to me. Like the, the reverence that he has for him, the fact that he won't fight him or anything like that. Like it, I like when. Comic book characters respect another character, mm-hmm. but Spidey will always be my favorite because he he was the guy who brought me into comics. There's a reason Same. that we're all here to this Same. day, and one of which actually happened right after Civil War, which was back in Black when he went into the prison to kick the shit. Sh- that was awesome. Oh yeah. Now that was great, but there's one before that. There's one before that, and it also has to do with the black costume, oddly enough. And this is right before Peter and Mary Jane got married. When she he first proposed to Mary Jane, she told him no, mm-hmm. flat out no. Your life is too crazy. It's dangerous. Uh, I'm not like taking my life in my hands. I can't marry you. And right after that, Mary Jane and Spider Man, Peter Parker, got attacked by Alistair Smythe and the Spider Slayers. And Spidey flipped his fucking lid and went after Smite like I've never seen Spidey go after a villain before and basically tore apart the Spider Slayer, ripped him out of it. He was crippled at the time. He was actually just like a paraplegic and he ripped him out of the Spider Slayer, shouted like, Smite, get out here. And he picked him up and he said, if you ever go near her again, I'll kill you. And like, that was like... That was some shit. Like okay. women, don't fuck with my girl. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Pretty can, simple. Can it? Can you give you something remarkable about <clears throat> Spider-Man that, like, <clears throat> I, I, like I didn't, I didn't realize until recently, and that you guys might not have realized also. So uh, when you look at everyone's origin, when you look at Punisher, when you look at like Superman and Batman and all that stuff, right? Batman was a kid, and his parents were shot in an alley, right? Mm-hmm. Superman was a baby, and his planet blew up, right? And uh, Punisher, like, he happened to be like. At a picnic in the middle of a fucking mob war. Right. That's not something he. So the point is, out of all these characters whose tragedy defined their origin. The only one who could have prevented it was Spider Man. Exactly. Yeah. Defines his whole character. And like, how relatable is that to be, to like know you fucked up and like, yeah. internalize yeah. that? Yeah. And have that sit else. with you forever. Forever. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And, that's, 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 that defines and, you as a person. And the thing is, the role. thing is, it has filled him with self doubt to this day. Right. And, and like, you, it, know? It, it, you know, 50 years. And that's so human. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, that, and, like, and, that, that's the thing that makes Spider Man my, my favorite beyond all of it was because mm-hmm. you can relate to him more than anybody else. Yeah. And like, like and that's since, since thing you about brought it. up the Clone Saga, I, I will segue. <laughs> I'm, not, the, go. not the Clone Saga, but I'll segue because the Clone Saga basically established Norman Osborn as Peter's uh, Spider Man's deadliest yeah. villain. Yeah. Because before that, you had Venom, you had Doc Ock, you had Doc Ock. So, was Doc Ock was absolutely yeah, yeah, the best. Yeah. Before this elaborate plot of trying to ruin Peter's life from yeah. Europe, you know, uh, I mean, I mean, you they made the Clone Saga work. For yeah, yeah. for argument's you, sake, you, the, the reality is the reality is that when uh, a guy pays an old lady to act <laughs> like his like aunt, his yeah, aunt, no, so and die <laughs> and pays her to die, then you gotta respect the guy's a great, no, he's a great villain. villain. He's insane. He, I, how much did he pay her to die? I, the I, to die as Aunt May. I don't remember if the storyline was the Gathering of Five. Or the one after that, which I can't fucking remember, but it was basically the final confrontation between the final confrontation, like Final Fantasy, 
Uh, <laughs> it was it was the fight between the Goblin and Spider Man where he basically blows up the Daily Bugle, and it's up to Spidey who's on the ground to hold up the building while everybody gets out. And this takes Amazing Spider-Man 33 yeah. and fucking takes it to the 10th exponent <laughs> where he is literally holding up an entire skyscraper. People forget how oh, strong oh, oh. Spidey is. Yes. Hold on, but here's, here's a similarly fucked up version of that, though. He held up the Twin Towers when Juggernaut destroyed them too, man. I don't to remember save that. Experts. That was Spider-Man number Are four. you talking about the McFarlane's run? The McFarlane run, oh, man. God. They collapsed the World Trade Center... Done. Yeah. On Spider-Man and X-Men. Was that 11 and 12? Or th- it was no, like th- 4 and 5, man. No, nah, 4 and 5 was Torment still. Yeah, 4 and 5 was... Right, five right, and well, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, it was 4 and 5 for X-Force. And that, then, uh, 4 and 5 yeah, was okay. the debut of Deadpool, I remember, if I'm not mistaken. Because that was the sideways <laughs> issue. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, man, man, I don't know that. And then it's sure the World Trade Center and Spider-Man says, is that all you got? Wow, I don't remember that shit. That's wild. Yeah, it was wild. I like to re- I like to retract my uh, my uh, Superman statement and put it in and replace that with um, Juggernaut. No, uh, Scarlet Witch. No more mutants. No more mutants. Yeah. No way, man. If that's that a character fighting moment, that's really fucked up, man. That was a fucked yeah, but up she's moment, a but she's a fucked that up. That was how being, powerful she was. That was when you she, realized that she is like listen, like it's seriously. Tw- Wanda it's is years fucked for Jonathan Hickman to fucking correct it. And well, yeah, I mean, great segue. What did he correct it to? Well, he corrected it apparently to House of X, which has been oh, advertised oh, yeah. and advertised and advertised so left and right. right. House, House of Ten. Segment, oh, it's right? House of Ten. That's no, 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 stupid. No, Powers of Ten. No, House Powers of Ten. House of X. Right. Because, so I'm glad you said that. It's House and Powers. Now they boast that House of mm-hmm. I'm just gonna call it House of X. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. House <laughs> of X. House of X. Yeah. Is yeah. six Good. issues. Yes. yes. Yeah. Powers of X. Powers, Powers of ten. ten. Fuck you. Is six issues. Yes. Yeah. Weekly, both, but both the reading order is one, 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 one. So it's basically a twelve. A 12 it's a twelve-issue issue maxi series yeah, yeah. that you have wow. less than cleverly disguised fucking Matlock <laughs> into a six, two six-issue minis. That leads to a bunch of number ones. Yeah, yeah. Which nothing's gonna happen here. Can we agree nothing's gonna happen? No, I nothing's disagree. gonna happen. I I disagree. Nothing's disagree. gonna happen. I and then we're gonna go into the I next disagree. series. I, 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 I think I, they're setting up a huge shit. I, but it's not gonna happen until the end. It's not gonna happen until. Uh, issue 12. Well, I want the you to go for it. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. Yeah. yeah. Are, are we allowed to spoil or no? Of course, yeah. Yeah. spoil. She's, she's, she's down. All right. She's number, down. Number, number one, number one, I want to give credit to Pete. You've read 80s uh, comics when you say the word maxi series. I don't think anyone passed <laughs> the word maxi series never exists. It's only maxi Yeah. A- yeah anybody I mean, anybody this day and age when they say maxi, they're like, is that a maxi series? Anything time? past six issues is a maxi series. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. But they, ne- <laughs> they, they never coined that term beyond the Maybe I'll section. give you eight issues. Maybe. Depending how thick the issues are. But but yeah, the, you only hear the word miniseries. You never hear outside the. 80s. You're welcome, sir. Um, okay. I'm a nerd of the highest order. <laughs> That's true. N- number two um, is the nerd maester. So uh, so so so, I, I, if everyone else wants to get, I, I've I've got a few takes on House of X. That's that I think, like. It's 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 probably gonna spoil a series for you if you guys want to. Go it. for it. I haven't read it. Let's go. I haven't read, read, go. I haven't read the whole I haven't read the whole spoil the whole review. shit for review. everybody. Right. Spoil right. review. Spoil Save review. them some money, bro. So Let's review. see. Wait. Four four times twelve is fifty bucks. Round out forty eight dollars. Like yeah, they're like six bucks each actually. They're right? six dollars Aren't each. They? Like the first one's so six that, bucks. Each one for each. So first you're looking at like fifty six. Well, that was kind of like a no no first issue six bucks. It was like an extra size issue because of all the extras they got in that though, right? Yeah, uh, but who's to say if not if the rest of them ain't gonna look like that too? So Demetrio's about to save you like sixty bucks. Maybe, yeah, probably. All right, so All right. so you so, can buy a pizza and beer. So so we have the X Men establishing a, a country or and and a culture again. Krakoa, in the first I'm Krakoa. So, I'm Krakoa, right? Can, I'm, can I just throw something out there? Yeah. yeah. The X Men are establishing their own nation. For the fourth time. I was about to say for the very yeah. first time because we've never seen that plot line before. No, no. Ever. Fourth time. It never happened so, before. So it's Matt, a completely Trisha. original storyline. So, so Matt Fraction establishes a mutant nation with uh, the Utopia. Uh, yep. Grant Morrison and Scott Lobdell establish a nation with Genosha, a mutant nation. Yep. Um, and then we Which have, has been around uh, for years. 
And then we have um, uh, a Jean Grey, Tom Taylor established, Jean Grey reached out to Namor to have Atlantis be the political representation of a nation... Uh, for the mutant, mutant kind. And, and then, John, here's Jonathan oh, Hickman no. doing something completely original. Oh, I Magneto really, tried Asteroid M. Th- thank you. I'm right, right, Asteroid it. M. I, I just feel like he never succeeded, though. No, he did That was like the he zero. Tried, yeah. Well, well wait, I mean, wait, wait, that, that storyline in and of itself lasted all of three issues. Right. Right. So, you know, you I mean. Fucking up. Sorry to cut you off, cheese. You forgot about fucking Denver and fucking San Francisco. Oh, oh shit. yeah, that's so true. But they never, yeah. were they ever... They no, they don't, they were there. They were there. So they had an island. They were, they were ba- yeah, they yeah, they had an island. Yeah, yeah. yeah asteroid and land outside of yeah. San Francisco. Yeah, they were like, that's, 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 that's Utopia. That's Matt Fraction's Utopia. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, yes. And then, uh, and then, and then, uh, and then you can arguably, I think most people are going to ignore this one, but, uh, uh, Nuke CN was, uh... Yeah, Zion, yeah, from the fucking ultimate bullshit. Well, but New Zion that also made its way into Secret Empire, yeah, six one six, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 so uh, here we have Jonathan Spencer Hickman with that. a completely original storyline of the X Men forming their own nation. But see, right. yeah, but see, I'm sorry, no. Yeah. Here, here's the difference though that like that got me intrigued. The fact that they use Krakoa's fucking biology and DNA to create fucking except thing. that Jason Aaron used it in the Jean Grey Institute in uh, Wolverine and the X Men in 2013. Yeah, but I, I, no, but see, like. <laughs> but see, that one was like that one ha- didn't have like absolute answers to how shit worked. Like this no, one, but this but one had answers. But the the first issue was on Krakoa, though. Yeah, no, but like there was the the way that they fucking defined it and like broke it down. Oh, can I have a seltzer? Do you know why? <laughs> do you know why the X Men's fucking countries Please. and cities and little nations haven't worked yet? No, why? To quote one of my favorite comedians, Eddie Izzard. Oh, Jesus. Do you have a flag? <laughs> that's pretty good. No right? flag, no country. No flag, no country. Those that's are the rules that, that I just, just made up. up. Uh, that's, pretty, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. Uh, uh, so, you can't claim us. We live here. So, so, Not anymore. So, 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 <laughs> so, so, so what it, and here's the other thing. Actually, that's an interesting point. Because what, what doesn't work for the... And it's going to work because of Hickman. But what doesn't work for the X-Men is... That the X Men are an allegory for a race, yeah, right, yeah. and so and so they're supposed to be the representation of discrimination, yeah, the mutant race. Be, I get it. You know, yeah. it's like it's like prejudice and stuff, right? And so what didn't work for the Inhumans, incidentally, what should have worked for the Inhumans was that the Inhumans in the last like five years were treated like a race, and the Inhumans should have been treated like a nation, should have been treated like a culture, right? It would have been better if they treated the Inhumans. Like uh, like an allegory for like discrimination against uh, 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 cultures versus like races and stuff, right? Like they have their own flag. Actually, have we ever seen an inhuman flag? No, no, I have not. Whatever. They, they, There's you know, probably some poor ass inhuman that like his whole power was getting a stick up his ass, <laughs> and they just ran him up a fucking but, hole. That was Maximus. But, 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 but we, <laughs> That's funny. But we knew that the That's humans funny. had their own culture, which was first of all a monarchy, which most uh, modern nations don't respect. And then they also had, like, their own, like, kind of, uh... uh I think wild. we can all agree that the Inhumans' biggest problem was a low budget for a TV show. Well, yeah, for sure. Well, true. We've all Without seen forms that, like, have uh, higher budget, budget than yeah. the Inhumans did. Which work. is crazy. Um, but going back to the John Hickman uh, uh, X-Men thing, so, uh, so, so, so let's look at, like, all the classic storylines <clears throat> that are, like, defining for characters, right? We have Grant Morrison's X-Men. We have, like, for example, Alan, Alan Moore's Swamp Thing and everything, right? We have um, Doom Patrol by Grant Morrison. We have, like, you know, we have all these stories, right? And all these stories end in these utopias, right? So, in this story, we start off with the utopia. We start off with the X-Men, like, nation. It's eventually going to collapse. Exactly. I don't think it's a utopia yet. It's not recognized by anybody... It's but it seems like utopia. Well, it, it's, they basically sun all these politicians like. Yeah, absolutely. So what have we learned? Right. No, shut up. Not you. I'm talking to her. So, so the Chamber, how's it, it going to collapse? It sh- the tools should be in that first issue. There's going to be a traitor. Maybe, but but that, no, that, that, that's I, I don't. Tool that I, gives I you. honestly, I don't. I don't think no, it's going not. to be a traitor. When, I think Professor Xavier is going to fuck it up. When Sabretooth did what he did. Mm-hmm. And they went to pick him up. And, and then Cyclops se- stepped in. Yeah. Like, and was like, uh, was oh, wait, you, know, you guys can have him. You guys can have That's, him. It's, not, that, it's not cool letting Table to have amnesty from killing a bunch of people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Well, well, I, I, I love that scene. Well, though. it's not fucking cool that New York City and every place yeah. else gives diplomats fucking immunity for what you know, running running stack lights, immunity. Running what? fucking what? What? hitting I people. If a fucking, if you get hit by a diplomat in their fucking car, you're fucked. 
Yeah. You can't sue them. Yeah, but you that, can't. That doesn't you're happen outside fucked. of legal weapon to them. Here's yeah. the, no, no, it's it's actually it's fucking weird. Try to fucking sue a diplomat. Try. Here's the thing. To bring it to bring this back to the book. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing that makes this really, really interesting is that yeah, in yeah. that scene, you have Cyclops flashing his visor at the Fantastic Four, yeah. saying, "If you if you continue to resist me, I'm going to fuck you up." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and then he says, "You know what? I'm not I'm not gonna basically yeah. fuck you guys up. You guys can have him because you know what? Sabretooth's a dick. The yeah. rest of these guys are being assholes. Yeah, you guys can have him. Yeah, yeah, and." That's pretty fucking cold. So, so because so. they they're definitely not all about all of mutant kind. They're like, no, like say like these guys are fuck ups. Like you guys can have. But also, the, the, the piggyback on your point is that the fact that Cyclops, at least my my assumption was that Cyclops realized that hey, there are a lot of mutants that are fucking taking advantage of the amnesty. Sure. And why am I gonna risk my neck and risk my people? Over your fucking self but, he, your but he's got to show face politically. Well, yeah, because to make sure that they got a handle on this exactly. shit. So, so presumably, yep. Sabretooth was acting on orders of Cyclops. Mm-hmm. See, I don't know because I, they went back. No, with, no with, we don't know. I, you, I, don't I think we don't, we don't know so yet. They know they could go there. Yeah, because they know about the amnesty thing. Okay. but the thing is though is that here's the scary thing is that you know everybody who's on Krakoa is mm-hmm. aware of what everybody else who isn't on Krakoa is doing. Yeah. And that's thanks to Professor Xavier. He's basically got Cerebro fused to his head. Who looks like Ultimate Mr. Fantastic. Yo, I thought oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's good point. He looks like he yeah. does. You're that's right. right. I thought he was Cyclops at first because it's the X. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anchor, man. Best who just said that, just literally just said that in the fucking yeah. uh, comments just now. He yeah. looks like, looks like so, fucking, uh, Ultimate Fantastic. So, <laughs> so, so, so the scene, the scene where uh, uh, Cyclops and uh, Flex is to, 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 to Mr. to Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, yeah. where he says, like, oh, tell Franklin I said hi. Yeah. That establishes a relationship between the X-Men and the uh, Marvel characters. Yep. And then the scene where they read the uh, politicians and say, this is what you're in for, this is yep. why you're here, this is why you're here. That's and the they're re- not, and those politicians are not the ideal politicians who should be there. Well, well they said so they're the all key. just plants. Like, yeah, they're just right. fucking, yeah. they're fall guys, basically. Yep. They exactly. got sent so, there. So, they're not so, going to be missed if they get taken out. So that shows a relationship between the X-Men politically with the Earth of uh, X-Men yes. 6, right? Yeah, the rest of the Earth still doesn't So, so, so who's going to take them down, man? Come on, man. It, it, it should be kind of obvious if you look at it. Who's the only antagonist that we've set up in this first issue? Magneto. Wrong. We we've, we've seen. Are you guys gonna give up? Anyone want to try? No, I'm gonna hear your take because I'm I'm in a mean, good five minutes. We've seen uh, Car- uh, what's her name? Karima, uh, uh, the Omega Sentinel. Oh, oh yeah, Karma. helping Karima. build a new master mold. But, man. So which was, was yeah. that master mold? Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, was, yeah. that whole fucking. That fucking the two page take, yeah, fucking beautiful. See, that's yeah. another problem that I had with this issue because I I haven't read X Men in God's know how long. I, this was not totally jump on friendly for me. Like we finished the last series and it's still not jump on. Yeah, friendly. Yeah, not jump on friendly if you read it. What yeah. Xavier's Everyone's alive? Didn't lost. know that. Who Xavier's alive? Yeah, didn't he's know been that. alive for a while. Cyclops yeah. is back. Didn't know that. He's been back. Who for the, a while. Where the fuck did this master mold come from? Who the fuck are all the these? Issue. You know, fucking uh, master mold doesn't bother me because if Tony Stark could build mega freaking on a. On, Watch him call it. Why mode. are they calling it a woman? Like, Master Mold was, like, I, I don't know. It's Is also it... like a spaceship, so you always name a ship a she. Sure. Yeah. Okay, I get that. But, like, when was a Master Mold sent into space to build a spaceship? No, they're literally building it right now. That, That's that, just that happening. Character? They're in the midst yeah, yeah, of building right it, now. yeah. And they already have a bunch this, of robots. This is the equivalent of the, em- of the Empire building the Death Star at the end. Yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, that's good. That's a great point. Um, but, yeah, like, you don't set up, you, 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 you make Utopia something that they reach at the end. You don't establish it in the beginning. You don't establish it, it yeah. Yeah. And well, any any time a utopia is established, it's about to be taken down. Absolutely. Look at Equilibrium. Look at fucking... Yeah. What was that movie, that equivalent movie with uh, Mila Jovovich? It was something similar. No. Oh, yeah. the, the, those type of dystopian futures yeah, where yeah. it's like everything's established and, oh, everything's great, everything's great. And it's like, well, no, wrong, everything's yeah. a fucking lie well, wrong, yeah, because y'all are fucking wrong. Know. I'm looking at a giant head and there's fucking rings around and everything. Yeah. And the first thought that came into my head was, it's Unicron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. But like, we, we didn't but yeah, I mean, we, 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 yeah, they're like they're kind of they're kind of like kind of softballing us a little bit with the whole yeah. Sentinels versus X Men thing again. I don't know if that's they're going to try to make that the focus, man. but it's going to be Space Sentinels. Space oh, Sentinels, man. Hey, uh, real quick before I forget, uh, I want to give a shout out to someplace warm 
It's his first time joining us. Nice. Oh, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the horror show. You have no taste, sir. <laughs> and no we're glad no for it. I mean, you have all the taste and all the patience, so thank you very much yeah. for joining us. Fair enough. Alright, right, so who's gonna fuck everything up for everybody? The the master mold man. I think Kirk, Ke- the the Omega Sentinel, that character who used to be in Mike Carey's X Men. Mm. Uh, she's gonna she's gonna fuck it up for everybody. That was, like, that was I, a great one. I, 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 and, and the one thing I want to point out also is that like every time there's Sentinels being built, there's always a Trask person mm. involved. There's mm-hmm. no Trask name in this one. I'm sure they're gonna reveal it later on. But there's no Trask person involved. She's like his long lost daughter or something. Probably shit. like that. Yeah, yeah. Cousin yeah. twice removed. Who won X? I'll go. Huh? Go for it. My thing is, Hickman is very much like Morrison. What? Like Grant Morrison. Okay, yeah, yeah. In what regard? He, oh, no. He, he'll take you, the history of the book and start using dude, it. Dude, dude, dude. Yeah. Hickman, Tom King, and Scott Snyder, they all love, and Jeff Johnson, they all love Grant Morrison. So you could always see that they all focus on different parts of Grant Morrison in their own So you're work. saying like they'll take aspects of... Yeah. Like a like, character's history, Master Mold. Absolutely. When was the last time we seen Master Mold? Well, he seen was me. way Master, back. Between Master, Master, Mold, between Master fucking, uh, Mold and Krakoa, it was a uh, fucking uh, the Outback team. No, the, no I feel like was... Krakoa was fairly recent. No, I think like they I think, I think, I think there was Krakoa. Krakoa is also, recent. The, yeah. There was an yeah. island. I mean, Krakoa first appeared ages ago. Yeah, but not this giant size. Yeah, yeah. If you know when the last time we saw Master Mold, I'm like 85 percent sure it was like during the fucking Outback team. Well. I, I feel like Grant Morrison's run must have had something that constructs those I don't think, I don't think You almost suspect it, right? From Morrison. Yeah, I but think so, because that little giant Hickman is there. just Morrison will give you twelve solid issues of whatever the freaking hell he was trying to do for you. Yeah, yeah. Hickman, especially after his last Avenger run, mm-hmm. he'll give you thirty, forty issues just stretching out a story. Oh, absolutely. And, and that drives me crazy. Tight. He's so well, talky. well, but you know now for now he's gonna do twelve issues. But what I think he's doing is he's well cleaning up the mess. That all these other writers have done completely sure. fucked up. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Oh, he's throwing, he's throwing shade. Yeah. Over I mean, listen, yeah. five years. Still listen, I'll, t- I'll tell you. Lesson. Listen, if if Hickman can clean this up, I'll start. I'll start like actively he's not reading. Be, he's not again. Clean up. No, no. All see, right, here's right. the thing: when you clean up a big mess, it's you not going to look clean one. until it's freaking done. Right. You're going right. to sweep half the shit under the rug and deal with that later. Try right. to piece. That's why I understand this 12 issue maxi series he's doing. I got. I got. It makes sense. You said five years, right? Five years of uh, X Men, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who who have been the writers of the last five years of X Men? Who can name all the writers of the ball? Who the fuck, fuck cares? Cat, uh, Carrie, uh, fucking Rosenberg. Um, wait, 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 wait. Uh, get, wait. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> who the chicken McFuck Nuggets cares? I agree. <laughs> that's that's how you, that's you how they've been treating the X Men. Jeff Lemire was writing X Men. He wrote Extraordinary X Men. You remember that? Bendis. Bendis, of course. Oh, Bendis is on X Men. I didn't know. Jason, that. Jason Aaron. Bendis is just checking shit off. Jason Aaron, Wolverine, Wolverine, but that was the four. That was seven. Oh no, yeah. No, Wolverine X Men. No, yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah, Wolverine X Men. He, yeah, counts. Yeah, he counts. He yeah, counts. Yeah, counts. Yeah, he counts. Yeah, Wolverine X Men counts. You had Jason Aaron. You had uh, you had Dennis Hopeless was writing the um, I think the uh, all new X Men. I think. Yeah. The, in fact, is why does Xavier still like he look, just looks like a Colin villain in that helmet? Blue. Well, th- see, he looks I, like he's about to onslaught out any minute. Yeah, but the thing is though, is that is that. He's got the, w- the the policies that he's putting forward are making him look Phantom like the X? villain number one. He's, he, so wait, wait, what happened to Phantom X now? Uh, uh, we'll do, go for it. So so Phantom so in Astonishing X Men by Charles Soul, which was uh, actually a good run. They had the emergence of Shadow King, and so Xavier grabbed as many X Men as he could, right? And uh, so we had uh, uh, Gambit, Rogue, Wolverine, um, Psylocke. I forgot Colossus. who else. Colossus, Colossus, and, uh, and and so and so they were used as pawns in this game with the Shadow King and Professor X again, right? The person caught in the middle of all this was Phantom X. the The whole story resolved with um, Xavier deciding he's going to erase everyone's memory that he ever existed, except for Psylocke. Psylocke was going to be the one weapon against him if he ever goes uh, onslaught again. Yeah. Um, but Phantom X also, who was dealing with a ton of, I guess, pain presumably in all his life or whatever. Uh, Xavier gave him like a, a a place in the astral plane to like kind of retire and get a happy ending in, and then Xavier's gonna take over, over his body. body. <laughs> because comics. My favorite thing about this was the um the page where it breaks down the Mega Mutants. Yes, yes. And it just threw so much shade at Forge, who I couldn't stand. Once he broke up with Storm, I was like, screw you, you're useless to me. Yeah. 
He's but, an alpha mutant. But I, I liked how yeah. they, they, they made sure, like, you may be top in your class, but that doesn't make you an Omega level mutant. Exactly. And frankly, there was a lot of cats on there that I was like, I didn't know these was Omega level mutants. Yeah. Cool. I knew Storm was stupid powerful. I did not know she ranked I, Omega level. Yeah. Ranked her that high. I remember when they first but ranked they Iceman, all, and I'm like, what the fuck? What, I remember. They were only like Iceman, a, Iceman a, being, a, being officially a Omega mutant is a big fucking deal. I think, I think this happened a while ago, though. Like, no, but like, they don't, they don't, they when he built that. those like ice giant things, they hinted that they never confirmed. When, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is actually no, no, they, they, they and the other it. when uh, when uh, when uh, Emma Frost took over his body and locked like more. She did so much scene, shit when she was taking over his body. There, there was one scene where 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 Who Iceman bitch? teleported through his shower head by going through the water particles and shit into like another place, pretty much. You was a mega level for a while. I fucking man. hate when I teleport <laughs> through my shower head. <laughs> <laughs> the the really interesting thing that I took away from that was was the fact that they classified Jean Grey as having her telepathic abilities oh, to be right. a mega level. That you could, yeah. you but could not basically her telekinetic. only have no, 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 it was all one. No, telepa- no, no, telepathy. No, 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 really should, it really should have been the other way around. Telepathy. Her telekinesis was not. Yeah, I think it should have been the other way around. Yeah, because Charles Xavier is at no mega level. Exactly. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, with but you. the thing is though is that the only way, uh, I mean, the only way she could have been taken down was by telepathy from another Ole- omega level mutant. The sure. fact that what? when the fuck did we start calling Exodus? Franklin Richards Powerhouse? By the way, oh, I don't know. he like, has a lot of names. That was his character. But, no, that was the name in Power Pack. But oh, that's the beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But that's the beautiful thing though about and the link. About, the about Demetrius yeah. mentioned this before. The link to the rest of the human world is yeah. Franklin Richards. Mm-hmm. Because he is technically a mutant, yeah, he and he's also and the most powerful there. mutant. Yeah, yeah. So how do you like, separate? That was a great, that was a great job of writing about fucking John and Henry. He's like, listen, tell your son we said hello, and he's and uh, he's got a home cool. whenever he wants yep, it. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. he can join his family. Now that's that's some shade thrown at Reed Richards yeah, right there. Absolutely. It's like he can join his family whenever he wants. Yeah, and a like, whoa, motherfucker! Because he's just reminding Slow you, like, roll we have Omega level mutants, including. Your son is one of them. All right, so like, yeah, Omega level right, mutants right, are, are nukes. In that list that you mentioned, uh, Frank Literature's Allegiance is human. Human, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so for those, for those that haven't read it yet, what you're going to read, let's just recap the fucking Omega of mutants. So we have, we have Storm. Are you going to remember all of these cats? I, 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 wrong. No, I can remember, I can think remember like, I want to say it was like 15. I can think of remember 10. <laughs> so we have Storm, we have Xavier, of course, we have Jean Grey, yep. we have Powerhouse, we have Legion, we have Kid Omega, we have fucking Vulcan. We have Vulcan. Wait, wait, Kid Omega's on that team? Yes. Yeah, Qu- uh, Qu- Quentin Quire. Quentin Quire, yes. I don't remember Quentin Quire and Vulcan being yep. on that. Yeah, yeah. Vulcan's yeah. on there. Vulcan's on there. Right. Magneto's, Magneto's on there. Exodus. Exodus is on there. I, he's, I love him. He's, Exodus is on there. Captain Britain yeah. didn't yeah. know that. Right, yeah. I'm sorry, Jamie Braddock. He's going by a different yeah. name now. Jamie Braddock's on there. Uh, who was that? Who was um Shit, 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 shit. A moment. Um... Mr. M, I don't know who the fuck he is. Well, wasn't Mr. M? Oh no, he was. He wasn't oh, a variation. Oh, Proteus is on that. Oh, Proteus. That was Proteus a, definitely that should was be a on dope that. Shit. Proteus came back in that same uh, run, actually, the Charles Soul run of. Uh, yeah, of, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah he's the main antagonist. Yeah, he's back. Yeah, so like, I, just, I can't. They mentioned Proteus is the fucking Omega level. You know, like, but Proteus is so like, yeah, of course, Proteus, I think, might have been the first. I have the list. Oh, Ramon's got the whole full list. Monarch. Iceman, Elixir, yes. Marvel yeah. Girl, Telepathy. Yeah, for Telepathy. Yeah, Legion, Magneto, yeah. Legion, Magneto yeah. Proteus, Mr. M, Storm, Exodus, Kid Omega, Powerhouse, Vulcan, and Hope. Yeah. Hey, well, I'm, I'm still not a big fan of Hope. Like, uh, yeah. Well, not too no. many people are, but she's still Omega level. Let me, let, me, let me ask you something. If you guys could have any of the mutant powers, which one would it be? Telepathy. Always. That's my power period I want to have. Yeah. I'll tell you what I would have. I would have... Forge's power, man. To invent anything in today's society, man. So we're talking about specifically mutant power, not mutant super power. Yeah, mutant power. I'll be Dazzler. I want to convert sound to light, man. That's the most powerful thing in the world because there's nothing but light around me. What are you talking about, there's man? Light, there's nothing but light and sound around me. I can use your voice to make another little weapon. Yeah, but there's light around She's you, not, not. No, She literally should be a fucking Omega. Omega. He, if I have telepathy, I know what utilizing, you're doing. Utilizing now. two of the five senses and utilizing the frequencies of the universe? Yeah. What? I'm with that. Oh, I'm so you want to look like Dion Warwick, man? <laughs> listen, listen. If I, I give you fucking solo gold, like that, calls for a, Derek, that calls for a Photoshop. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I got that, that, was what, that was what Sonic was, I mean, you know, Dazzle was supposed to look like originally. She was supposed to be Dion Warwick, then she was supposed to look like Bo Derek. So, I gotta go with my man, though. 
Magneto. Magneto. Yeah, of course. I knew him, man. I mean, the thing is, though, is that, okay, but Magneto, not, Magneto's abilities and Dazzle's abilities, oh, abilities, and Dazzle's abilities oh, shit. if you want to get technical, kind of fuck with similar aspects of how the universe works. Exactly. Like, I think, I think Dazzle's It like, deals right? with frequencies. It she deal, took Black Bolt Scream. It deals with... Thank vib- you very much. It that deals with awesome. vibrational It, it messed with her How does that not That's make her a But now, that was one of the only acceptable scenes in that whole X-Men versus Inhumans part. And, I, you know, I love Black Bolt. I, like, he's one of my favorite unsung you characters. You so poorly by Marvel. He's and so unsung because he can't sing. Along with Silver Surfer. That was one the, of the, the ones I accepted. Humans, he was used perfectly. The, the, the Duffy and Humans miniseries that okay, happened? But the that story was, was garbage. Garbage. Oh come on! Not in case did a good job with that. Right, come right. on, come you on. You've been, been, been too hard. You've been too hard. No, no. <laughs> but that being said, I don't understand how. Like in my mind, granted, there's two. Dazzler is an Omega mutant in my mind because right. she can control light and sound. Yes, she is similar to fucking. She fucking can convert mind. sound into light. Yeah. There's there there are limitations there. Yeah, but like but like yeah, she, like she can do that, and similar to. Monica Rabot. She's not a mutant, but they have both the power to fucking just do whatever the fuck they want. Spectrum. Yeah. Formerly Time Warner. Spectrum, Photon, whatever. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> I would say Spectrum and Dazzler are more powerful than Hope. I, I Hope, should... Hope copies your power. She, if nobody's around her, what's she going to do? Wait, wait. Who's Pull out a gun like Cable? She'll just be a, she'll just be a chicken bushwick. That's it. Wait, wait. Who, 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 who's going to be that Tiger <laughs> TV show? Someplace warm. Tiger somebody else? Someplace warm says, if I had Magneto's no power, one. I'd hire myself out as the best construction subcontractor in all of New York. Yeah, uh, a, see, I would just like avoid traffic. See, you're what? narrowing, what? See, you're narrowing your focus. You're narrowing your focus. Expand a little bit. The country or not the world. and fucking all... I want to throw cars that cut me off into space. Is it Dazzler? That's the other character? Yeah, it's Tiger, Dazzler, and... Am I being too short-sighted? See, I want to do telekinesis because I don't want to be limited to just me. Forget telekinesis. I'm... The, the best superpower... I, I You know, I've thought a lot about this. Mm. Because I'm insane. And... Yes, certifiably. Yeah. Actually. I've come to the conclusion... <laughs> That the single greatest superpower to have is that of the Purple Man. Mind control, man? Just, like, you look at somebody like, you just just stab yourself in the dick with a pen. That's telepathy. Oh, my God. It's not telepathy. It's not telepathy. telepathy. Look, if I had Omega level telepathy, Purple Man ain't shit. Yeah, that's beyond telepathy. That's true. We never had Purple Who Man would you against, rather uh, power Savior. level have? No, no Purple, Purple Man, Man is, is or Hypnosis. Professor X. Yeah. Basically. He's still, no, he's still, I mean, Professor X he's is like a little, 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 little much. He's a big subliminal. Says the guy who wants to throw cars into space. I, I want to throw is, cars into space because the they deserve is, it for cutting me off. A tele, uh, a high or a driving high slow. Telepath would be able to detect what the Purple Man is trying to do and then erase his mind. Why the oh, fuck shit, shit. is it so difficult to hit the gas pedal when the light turns green? Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah. The, you just All sit right. there like, ooh, the light's green. What right. should I do? All right, let's get back <laughs> on I'll hit topic, the gas. Cause- but humans are a reactionary species. If we all hit the gas at the same time when the light turns green, we can all make the light, Karen. We can all get it through the fucking light. Let's take this moment to say, please follow us on Peace Basement on Instagram, <laughs> Instagram Twitter, uh, Facebook, and, oh um, my God. and beyond. Thank you for joining us. And um, yes, go on. It's true. BS of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, uh, today's nice episode is brought to you by the number two. In a, in Let's go check. back real quick to Marvel movies at SDCC. We're okay. taking it right back. Yeah, it's time. We're, yeah. 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 we're only on this for about out. a half what? hour. Last week's battery issue. Oh, well, we got the backup. Oh, we're good because we can't. We can't. Yeah. Nah, we're good because we, we, have, the we have like fifty-three percent. We good. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> And that confirmed. We reviewed one thing from the Shout out to our beautiful director. That's yeah, not totally true. We've gone through a few <laughs> things. Funko <laughs> and Blade. mostly movies. Let's no, see. no, Blade. Not movies, Blade. Oh, right. Singular. Blade oh, we didn't even mention who should be the villain. Who should be the villain in Blade? Oh, uh, bro, I say bring my Hannibal King and just go fucking all off. Can I get. Who? Make Hannibal King the villain, then make him turn over. 
I'm okay with I, Deacon the, Frost. Wait, Deacon Hannibal as fucking... played by Ryan Reynolds? I think I'm okay with that. Wesley Snipes should be no, in a Trinity. powerful vampire that was once Wakanda. Okay. Oh, you just you just reaching, but I, I like. The, I would accept I Wesley. Reach. I, I like Wesley reach. Snipes as Whistler a lot. I yeah, someone said on fucking Reddit. And I'm yeah. like, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Not a bad no, idea. I it's like not it. a bad idea. It's I not do idea not like. I do not in any way, shape, or form want Wesley Snipes as Dracula. It's too yeah. early. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's too, too early obvious. For Dracula. It's too early for Dracula. I it's agree. too Blackula for Dracula. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a funny fucking movie, but... Please hashtag that now. Please hashtag that now. Please hashtag that now. No, I actually agree with Someplace Warm, because instead of Dracula, you gotta deal with Morbius. You have to have a cameo by Spider-Man to tie it all in together and and make it part of MCU, not necessarily part of a specific phase. phase. Not necessarily part of a specific phase. Side note, I... Not to cut you off, gentlemen, but um, I just got informed that um, Morbius, their last day of shooting will be next week. Oh, nice. So, All right. So Wait, that's hard. Wait, Jared Leto's Leto Morbius? Done? Yeah. The last that means Sony's actually think... progressing with this? No, it's, about to be, it's about to be a production wrap next week. Like this No film, shit. Film production wrap. Somebody week. needs to slap some nuggets on this fucking film right now. <laughs> but, no, but here's the scary thing. From like the people no, I know that work on it. Don't say it. It's not. Oh shit! Who's this villain? Curse you! And the horse that, you're that riding I on. Know, that I don't know because they signed an NDA. But May the fleas of a thousand camels but, infest but, your loins. What they shot this is the type of silence that occurs when mom just hit dad at the dinner t- or dad just hit mom at the dinner table. That's I mean, dark, take your man. pick. That's dark. Take your pick. No, but like for, that's dark even for, for my face. Like, people I know that's working on that shout out to y'all. I'm not gonna say it by any time once I get fired because the week is a week left. But from what I've heard, this shit ain't that bad. Ah. Uh. Like, like from what from what they're telling me that wait, 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 what am I what am I what the fuck? <laughs> from what I've heard Sony might have lo- learned a lesson. What? Ah, you fool! So they are gonna make an on me movie? <laughs> yes. Yo, Ramon's gonna, Ramon gonna be first in line to see it. <laughs> on me at the playground. I see on me. She she's watchable. <laughs> Eminently. Actually, oh, so, so now we some also. Place, some, I'm sorry. Some place one said I didn't even bother watching mm-hmm. Venom. Not the MCU wasted my time. Yes, yeah, so you were smart. Oh, me. I yeah. told the going back to what Absolute is. I totally troll motherfuckers and tell them they should watch Venom. That's a great. Yeah, troll. <laughs> that's a good troll. It's a good troll. awful, but I'm not suffering alone. Tom, Tom watch <laughs> Venom. Tom Hardy's a good actor. Like, Tom, Tom Hardy is so wasted on that movie. Yes, he's he amazing. He's, I love Tom Hardy. I really amazing. do. I love the dude. He's yeah. the best thing about that movie. And the one part right. that was wasting that movie was fucking Jen- Jenny Slate. Who would you cast oh, a Tom Hardy as in the MCU, man? Venom. Oh, fucking oh, Venom. Redo it though. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah. Right, right, right. Bring him back. And bring do back. it right. All right, all right. Bring right. Back. With a good writer, I will tell you this. With a good writer. You can actually blend that awful movie with the MCU. Yeah. It can happen. Oh, okay. Somewhere in the belt? I don't know. Just the belt just fine. I heard it. I mean, there's weapons down here, so uh, let somebody... I don't give a fuck. Come <laughs> on in. We ready for you. What did I say before the show started? I can kill you if I don't want you here. I want, I want Tom Hardy as Reed Richards. Man. No. no. They're even no. drawing Reed Richards as John, John Krasinski. Krasinski. Yeah. Yes. What? It's going to happen. That's got to happen at this point. And I, mean, I am 100% I would on board. Be, I would be shocked if it's not John Krasinski. I would. So Rain I'm 100% on thing. board with that. Yes, 100%. No, <laughs> David Arbor. David yeah. Arbor's got to be the thing. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. I know. I like it. And I'm going like to go it. I'm gonna go you out on a limb. Amy Adams. Yeah, let's go. Invisible Woman. No, uh, no, it's it's I, gonna be I'm Emily sorry, fucking Blunt. I need, I need, I need I'm, okay I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But she's she's got to be able to pull off an American accent. Though. I'm sorry, in advance, no. woman. I, I would. I need to. I need Steve, I need Sue Wurtz to be thick. I need to be healthy. I agree. Like she has to have hips. She's an Emily. I would have I liked to see Stephania a younger, like ultimate version of Fantastic Four. Like there were kids oh, in sure, a think yeah, tank. Yeah, yeah. I, I really would like, like that, that idea. Mm-hmm. I love that well, idea. Well, you can't have this actor you mentioned then. Right, but if I can't have that, like, and I think they're leaning more toward See, John Krasinski, so I'll mm-hmm. bite. But, that aside, I, I gotta hand this casting to my man TC Does Comics, because he, he fucking nailed it. If there is 
anybody who can take over for Chris Evans as Johnny Storm because the Just say it, Michael, the, Jordan. Michael Jordan never happened. <laughs> it didn't happen. Not I'm sorry, but Killmonger if you, has firepowers. If you've seen That's Baywatch, you know already. Who? Oh boy, Zac Efron. Are we really needs gonna to go with Zac Efron? Storm. Yes, oh, oh, fucking hundred oh, percent. He's five nine. I don't give a five shit. Nine, he's hilarious. Man. He's sarcastic. He's built like a brick you, shit you house. You work around the height. I mean, and we've seen not for nothing, as a perfectly heterosexual man, he's an attractive dude. He fits Johnny Storm. Perfectly, he's an he's a neighbors? total asshole. Neighbors guy was fucking hilarious. It was great neighbors one and two. Both of them and the fucking short with the zombies. Please tell he's me you saw that YouTube yeah, he's special. Fucking, he's fucking great. He's Yo, Zac Efron has a fucking like he's got comedic timing. Wait, neighbors who had Hit Girl, right? What? Neighbors two had Hit Girl, right? Chloe Moretz. Yes, Chloe yes. Moretz. Yeah, she should play Valerian, man. She's too old. Yeah, I don't want to see the kids no, yet. But I don't want to see the kids until what to. No, but she'd be Crystal. I don't want to see the kids until part five. She could be Crystal. Yeah, she Crystal. She could be Crystal. She'd be Crystal. Be Crystal. Zach I'm... Efron, Johnny, Crystal, Chloe Moretz. Yeah. Zach Efron has the fucking perfect personality for Johnny Storm. I s- I'm telling you right now. 100%. It's really hard to argue this. God uh, damn it. Did you see Baywatch? I'm cool with it. Did you no. watch Baywatch? No. no you... Dude, you got it. It's you so fucking good. Grandpa? No. Both Awesome flicks. No, you know what? Aubrey Plaza, you will fall in love. No. You know well, listen, I love Aubrey Plaza. 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 Well, I love, I love, I love. Dirty whore. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. because no, 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 no. listen, no. the thing is, <clears throat> she is a master of deadpan. Yeah. Like you wouldn't fucking believe, and I love that shit. That's why she's great at Legion, which you've not but the last Fantastic movie. Four was mentioned. How dare you? Yes. At San Diego Comic yeah. Con. Yep. Yeah, yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. Going full back. So we're to probably. We're basically looking at that going to D23 next month. I'm still, like, trying to figure out who's going to be Susan Richards. Or Susan Richards, well, however they want to yes, play this. Yes. They're going to flesh out all the shit well, we want to know. That's like, a great, ba- great segue. Hmm? No, what the fuck is D23? That's a great segue. I was going to say, that, uh, basically, at the end of all the Marvel announcements, Kevin Feige comes on and is like, Oh, I, you know, we got so wrapped up, I didn't even get to tell you about the Fantastic Four, and I didn't even get to mention mutants. Yeah. Go yeah. right at that. That was it. That, that's all he said. Franklin Richard was the mutant man he was going to mention. He just I don't. About X-Men. I don't think they're going. to... I mean, maybe, but <laughs> I don't. I don't think they're going to so, go that route quite yeah, yet. Yeah, like the fact that he specifically said mutants has me. It's it's a curious kind of, yeah point. So yes. this is what I heard from from mm-hmm. my sources south to the west coast. Forgive me this. D three. All that. Even though you put side. pineapple on pizza, it's fuck them for that. Uh, I never forget them for that. Fuck wrong with that. Right. Yo, you know, everything wrong with that. You know, you know, How dare you, sir? You know, there's, there's, you know, everything wrong with hey, it. You guys know the difference between people from New York and people from LA is? Yeah, we're smarter. I got another one for you. We like better pizza. People in New York say fuck you and they mean hello, and people in LA say hello, but they mean fuck you. That sounds about right. That's actually. <laughs> Lex right. Luthor was yeah. absolutely right. California needs to sink into the sea. No, it don't. Yes, it does. Tool said the same thing. Learn to swim, yeah. see you down in yeah. Arizona yeah. Bay. That's uh, like the whole porn industry go away. No, no, they're in Vegas. No, they're, they're in Vegas. Is, there are plenty. They're in Vegas. They will disappear, disappear but it'll be hard. Porn. There are plenty of amateur porn stars. The country abound. Yeah. I don't like professional porn. I like amateur shit. How dare you, sir? <laughs> I do. How dare you? I, listen, <laughs> I'm just saying. This is my phone. <laughs> Jenna Jameson is Sue Storm. Oh, Fuck God, Jenna no, she's gross. I am oh. all about the fucking Bang Brothers casting couch, the fucking Net Video Girls calendar oh. shit. Speaking of double Ds, D23. Oh, when's that coming out? Wow. D23, bro. Thank you for the same way. I- <laughs> <laughs> so... From oh. what I've heard from my sources, when they announced Fantastic Four, this will not this will not be an origin story. It'll be in flow. In other words, that we might get the kids. Uh-huh. Oh. oh shit, that's awesome. Oh Jesus, no, 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 no. I'm all for that because like we had three fucking origin stories. We don't yeah. need it anymore. I agree. We don't need a kid. We I don't need origin. That. But you don't need. But do you have to either. give us? A I am perfectly <laughs> amenable to a Fantastic Four movie and the Stinger scene. Which is like what they call the fucking after credit shit. That's like yeah. their official name. Mm-hmm. Is Sue coming up to read like oh, we're pregnant? And fast forward, part two. We got both kids. Later. Both yeah. fucking kids. I don't yeah, know. That's, that's too much of a fucking. I, like so. 
So from what from what I've heard is that number one, like, it's gonna be the kids are gonna be involved. The yeah. kids, the kids are gonna, the, the kids are gonna be preteens. Yeah. Oh, they're really? Bring, they're bringing power pack. Aren't way they? too late. I think we're good. Thank you. Thank way you. too All late. Right, can game. I tell you about my the sources? Hand out, the hand out problem. Can I tell you about my sources? I'm afraid. Oh, the Roger go. Roger Corman's in continuity with the MCU man. Shit. Roger Corman FF is in continuity with the MCU man. It's I my, hate, I my hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Reed Richards waving with the fake hand. <laughs> you know I've never seen that. What? Wow! You've never seen the Roger Coleman Venice before? No. That is horrible. Guys, you have to see it. That's, that's a troll. That's, that's a, a troll, troll movie. That's the troll movie. And we night. gotta somehow trick Pete into watching it. But it's a cult troll. I'll watch it. Say the word. Why don't you do like a? Why don't you get a fucking projector and do projector. that shit outside of anyone comments? We'll do it. I have a projector. We could do Let's that. Let's fucking do it, All right, man. Let's do it. All right, Let's do it. Control. I'm there. That, that Corman. Open invite to anybody watching that Pete's right, basement. That's right. That's right. That's right. Twelve ten Union Avenue, Twelve Sixteen Union Street. Avenue, Union 12, Street. 16 Union Street. That's what I said. Twelve Sixteen Union, Union Street. Street. Oh, oh, my God. God. Watch I was close. Watch Fantastic Four with Pete, Ramon, Cheeseburger, Greg. We're gonna watch all Yo, the listen. movies that it is the blasphemous that I'm we've never seen. Is yeah. if you give me two, not one, but two full plates of cooked bacon. Coke and bacon? Coke, you have to do bacon. That. Coke, Coke and bacon? Coke and bacon? Coke and bacon? I'm yeah, winning. Oh, yeah. get a high five? Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna <laughs> say no to that. I mean, it's Coke and bacon. I mean, listen, it's <laughs> on my American fucking treasures. shirt. It's on my fucking shirt. Has anybody ever snorted Coke through bacon? No, and there I'm, I'm talking about, about soda. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, I've eaten. I've eaten. <laughs> True I've fans know. I've eaten one bacon. Kate, it <laughs> doesn't matter. She said, "Drunk or sober, this is an important question. It doesn't matter. I've eaten Drunk or sober, bacon, it won't fucking I've matter." Snorted coke off a of bacon. Right, using a coke. Like Can you actually started? roll a piece of bacon no, no, and that? No, 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 <laughs> Uncooked. That's yes. a good so, question. Yeah. Uncooked. Yes. I ate it. It was great. All right, back to D twenty three. Back to D twenty three. They should do a sequel to. Back uh, to fucking SDCC. Zero to hero. Zero to hero. We <laughs> also have the Eternals. We've got the entire cast laid out, yeah. and we saw, much to kind of my chagrin, some early concept art of the Celestials. That's fine. Early yeah. concept is whatever. I want them to look more Kirby esque. I don't want them to look I think that they look way. Kind of Kirby esque. <laughs> they look kind of, but I want yeah. I want Kirby like I saw in Guardians of the Galaxy or Taiki Watiti's Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, yeah, the costumes, yeah. Yeah. The, the uniforms. I'm yeah. sorry, I cannot. I just I can't. Pronounce this guy's name every time I try. Taika Watiti. Yeah, yeah, every time I try, Taika, I'm gonna Taika. be honest. I'm gonna. Right. I'm gonna help you out. Huh? Tonka. Tonka. Was it Taka? Taka. Watiti. Taka. Taka Watiti. Taika Watiti. Every time. What? Yeah. No. 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 Stuart Eminem. No. 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 Stuart Eminem. What you do? Thank God he retired, so he can. Taika Watiti. What you do? No. That's what I get. What you do? No. Taika. Taka Waititi. Watch you do. <laughs> Ragnarok guy. Watch you do. Core. Stick him a core. Core. Did I just hear you refer to me as White Devil? No. <laughs> Is how they know you. <laughs> Arguably Chicago. better than the original. Just saying. Arguably. Arguably, yeah. Nevertheless, I want my Celestials to look like Jack Kirby fucking threw them onto the page and onto the silver screen. I want. I don't which want they did, which they did admirably in said. Guardians. Yeah, in Guardians. That the World Destroyer would. I know he has a name. I don't remember what name he has. And Kirby experts and Guardians and Celestials experts will tell me. But I know Homeboy got a name. But whoever it was wielding the power gem in Guardians, that's what I want the rest of my Celestials got, to look like as well. I got. I got. I got a quiz question for you guys. Love quiz questions. The Eternals. Mer- like they merge together with their powers to form a Voltron? character. Yeah, close to Voltron, close to Captain Planet. What Fuck is the name of that character? They- All know, right, wait a minute, together. wait a minute, wait a minute. I just read this shit in History of Marvel Universe today. Hold the phone. Exactly, exactly. And I can't. So who, who is the character remote? Wait a minute. No. This is perfect. Thank you, Demetrios, You're because welcome. we have a giveaway to do. Perfect timing. Great segue. <laughs> no, who? No. 
This, this what is the up. name of the Voltron S character that the Celestials form? No, no, no. no. Eternals. Eternals. That's what I said. Eternals. 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 You said yeah, Celestials. Eternals. What is the name of the Voltron S character that the Eternals form to fight the Celestials? Yeah, they, they just form like, it. It's they like they the Captain Planet. They do it to go out for Jameson shots? Jameson shots, Celestials, mm. okay. all that. Deviants, they fight Send the your answers to questions at PeteSpaceman.com. Title that shit Eternals. We are going to give away a copy of the Empty Man issue one signed by Great Vanessa comic. Del Rey. This is an awesome comic. We have been giving it rave reviews since its debut. Uh, Cullen Bunn, this is volume two. Uh, a sequel to one of the creepiest, craziest ass stories yeah. from a few yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the new series. And it is drawn by the multi-talented, very wonderful Vanessa Del Rey. And I happen to have one autograph for you. You will get a Pete's Basement Certificate of Authenticity with this book. You are going to send your correct answer to questions at PeteSBasement.com. And we will draw the name out of a hat in a week. Sound good? Next Two week. weeks. Those weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks. Next week, Maria's in. Who? All right. Okay. Who, yeah. who do the Eternals combine their powers to form? Our powers combined. Megazord. Uh, Captain Planet? What? Uh, never mind. Pelosi. Uh, uh, by the way, you notice that Cullen Bunn writes, like, everything? diseases? Yeah, everything, but also books about diseases a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like, whatever, like yeah. on Earth. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, that was awkward. <clears throat> it was, it was uh, awkward as well, but that's fine. I'm drunk. Yeah. yeah. No, no, what's that? Oh, yeah. There you go. No, do, the, do the alien? Do the, yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're back at SCCC, and you, yes. mentioned, you mentioned Eternals. We also got to mention um, Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi is a big deal. Shang-Chi. Yeah. Tony Lee Young as the Mandarin, and Simu Lui, is, is that saying Simu Lui as a fucking uh, Shang-Chi. I, I, I ain't going to pronounce nobody's name no more. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you really <laughs> You really shouldn't. It's Simu, it's Simu Lu. Simu Lu. Simu Lu. Simu Lu. You guys ever Simu watch uh, Vanishing Sun? No. No. That was a good show. It came on before uh, Jack of All Trades, and to me that was like my favorite I know, show. I love Jack of All Trades. That was a very underrated yeah. show. Yeah. Oh, shit. And, and Cleopatra 2525. Oh, shit. Craddock is awake. The, the, the Rocket Man is in the building. The Rocket, Rocket Man is Man. in the building. Chris! Oh, Craddock! Cheers to Chris. Fucking me. To all the babies he be having. Only one. All the babies he be having, son. I am very excited for Shang-Chi. Yes. Uh, Indeed. I'm I'm really happy that we're finally getting the Mandarin as we deserve. Yes. I'm really happy that, like, I've seen this dude's videos... He's he's a good martial artist. He has a wicked crossover on basketball. He was a yes. he was a sitcom star in Canada apparently. Whatever, yo. All he right. Went, he went to like Canada, man. Canada. Canada gave us some great people. They gave us fucking Ryan Reynolds. They gave us Ryan Reynolds. They, they gave, gave us Maria Alicia Hill. Cuthbert. They, they gave, gave us Maria Hill. Yep. Uh, just well, like, oh, well, yep. well, well. They also gave us Celine Dion and Justin Bieber. <laughs> who, who, by the way, you fucking wimp, you yep. fucking little yep. bitch. You backed out of the fight with Tom Cruise because you knew, you fucking knew, that Mr. Knew. Top Gun, Mr. Mavic, was going to kick your fucking ass. Tom Cruise should be Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fight Justin Bieber. I Sir, really do. Yeah, Somebody dude. asked us that earlier, too. I want to fight Justin Bieber. I, I think also... every single one of us want to fight him, honestly. Yes, I do. Yes, Canada gave him the outro back. I want to uh, fight yes. Floyd Mayweather too. Canada gave us I'll fucking back. take on Justin Bieber and Floyd Mayweather in a two-on-one match. What's up, motherfuckers? Let's get the ladder in the middle of the ring. I don't give a fuck. Wow. <laughs> what did the record? I'll fight that? both you, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't gonna be no boxing match, Floyd. I'm a fucking headbutt you the first chance I get. Don't give me that chance. <laughs> Mr. Fucking Jordan fade away. Punch, oh my not god. Stop. <laughs> what? I want to fight him. So, Absolute says, How do you think Deadpool will be Spidey? I like Wade to be. Me, we'll meet Sp- it's going to happen. No, it's yeah, going to be Spider Man and his amazing friends. It's going to be at the end of Spider Man 3. You believe this shit? I. I think if the shadow has any say in the matter, I think it's going to happen. He said it did? Nah, but I think it's going to. He's been calling it for years, so I think yeah. it's going to happen. 
I, I yeah, I think if if there's going to be any sort of Deadpool crossover into the actual MCU, it's I gotta think it's gotta start with Spidey. It's gotta start with Spidey because he idolizes Spidey. <laughs> oh, uh, he also idolizes Captain America, but that's neither here nor there. He hasn't mentioned none of those characters. Uh, because they can't yet. Well, uh, but even they still, legally can't. Look, he's yet. a hard I, R. I, I, They're I, not going to mix up. <laughs> but that would be the beauty of it. Is he like? Let's just say, not even dropping an f bomb. Let's say he cuts one guy's arms or head off, and Spidey's like, "Dude!" And he's I, like, I, "What?" I, I got another trivia for you guys, and that's it. I got a trivia for you guys. You got churros for us? What? Trivia, trivia. Oh, churros. Oh, I'm excited. Damn. Damn. I want churros. I can go for some so, churros. Yo, who are we sending to the L train, yo? So. <laughs> So, so we all know Deadpool's a ripoff of Deathstroke, right? Yeah. We all can see to that. Wade Wilson, who's, Slade Wilson, yeah. Who's, who's Deathstroke a ripoff of? Me. Batman. <laughs> I don't know. Bullseye? Right, what's his origin? Who, Deathstroke? Yeah, Deathstroke's origin. Uh, I don't know. Taskmaster? I know his how power. How did he get his power? What's his power? I don't know how he got he his power. He used 90% of his brain. Right, how did he get his power? I don't oh, know. He, I thought he was just born with it. Nick Fury? Mm. Captain America? He was, he, he was given a super soldier serum. No way, really? No shit. Oh shit. It was, okay. a, it was an army experiment. So who's that making Murph off of? Captain, Captain America. 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 And when you look at Deathstroke's original costume, he's got the scales like Captain America yeah. does. Uh, yes. He's got the pirate gloves. He's got the pirate boots with the thing. Yeah. yeah. So essentially, Captain America... Is Deadpool's grandfather? How do That's I why I have for some fucking army experiment show? Like, because they, they probably have a list on you. You probably. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like kind of low on their priority list. You when you want the power, they don't want to experiment on you. You don't yeah. want the power, they don't. They they will experiment on you. They're like, no, he's crazy. We can't. Before we move on from uh, Shang Chi, um, um, someplace one said he's looking forward to seeing Sir Ben Kingsley. Replies the role of Trevor Slattery. I I look forward to that. Anyway. That would be great. That's that what I happen. think it needs no. to happen yeah. just for no. even a cameo. I can confirm that's going to happen. Oh, yes, happen. and the man and the actual Mandarin should knock him off in the first ten minutes. Yeah, one hundred percent. But remember, the actual Mandarin was the one that paid him off in the first place in Iron Man Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He mentioned that also. For those who actually bought the DVD for fucking Thor, there was uh, an extra Thor Dark World. Yes, that was an extra that actually he actually said, hey. Was the stuck in prison, and the guy came to see him, and he's like, my employer would like to speak with you. And he's like, what? He's like, yeah, he's mad you stole his name, yeah. and he wants it back. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, he gets, like, carted out of the prison. Yeah. Yeah. It's dope. Yeah. So it's that, that, completely worth that, your money that, buying that, the Blu-ray of the Thor the Dark World. <laughs> <laughs> Which I yep. believe I have. The I think Thor I have. the Dark World, the prequel to Mighty Thor when Nelly Corman gets a hammer. Oh fuck! That, yeah. Let's talk about that. Great, 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 let's yeah, talk about that. Love and Thunder, based on Jason Aaron's Mighty Thor. Okay, and Russell and Russell Dodderman. Uh, Dodderman. First it's, of it's, all, it's not totally based on that. Run. I know. Yeah, it no, just took the it. female Thor and the aspect. Yeah. Now Mighty here, Thor, here's Thor. Mighty uh, Thor. Now let me. Right. I'm glad you said that. Female Thors before. Many people have been calling her female Thor, and I will consent that. Yeah, that's not right. You can't call it that. And people was like, oh, you got to call her Mighty Thor because that's what she was. She was Mighty Thor, but nah. Uh, the Mighty, Mighty is an adjective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to talk titles. You say Thor. No, you say Lady Thor. Like as Fair in enough. Lady Sif, Lady Freya, Lady Death, Lady Thor, Lady Motherfucking. But that title she is the nobility. nobility. She was never called. Yes. Jane Foster she was, was never nobility. nobility. She's she fucking Thor. Thor. No. She automatically gets it, I think. No. Uh, I think she does. No, well, you're wrong. They call her the Mighty Thor. So I'm, I'm had, cool with Mighty Thor. She yeah. has the pow- she winds up getting the power. Lady of fucking Thor, Sansa, Thor. Lady fucking uh, Targaryen. Yeah, lady again, these are all nobles. I'm yeah, saying very true, but I think she calling her Lady Thor with a capital. I don't think is derogatory in the slightest. Let's say derogatory. I just think it's wrong. No, I don't think it's wrong in the slightest. You know, stick to Punisher. I mean, I mean, Fuck I mean, you, then. I mean, I mean, How about I mean, that? <laughs> The the the, the, uh, the previous uh, the Diamond Select statue calls her Lady Thor. I don't know what the figures there are of her, but they they call her Lady. But Thor. I mean, with, with a capital them. letter, it's it's a it's a proper title. It's yeah. not like you're saying, oh, that's Lady Thor. Yeah. The, you know, the Thor with tits. That's, no, that's version, not. Yeah, yeah it's think, a it's a different dynamic. I think in the yeah. book they have called her Lady Thor, so I do think. Pete no, you just call it Titty Thor. No, no, I got, I, I know I know for for Vader because like. Just the one, just the one, just the one story that maybe come back. Thor. Yeah. They called the Lady Thor for one epi- one issue, and after that she was Mighty Thor. Not the Mighty Thor. She was Mighty Thor. Now do you think they're gonna give her cancer? That, but... I, 
I, they better. I, I think agree. they should. I hope so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it really well, added to this. Will not, this will not work in my mindset if she does not have cancer. I agree. It sounds wrong to say out loud. But it sucks it because. It sucks because. I think not in, only should she have the cancer, but it should be revealed that the ether gave her cancer. I mean, I'm accepting of that. I, mean, I like that. I love because that. Because the Hulk said that the. You know, the release of the energy was gamma based. Yep. And I mean, if you suck in some gamma rays, you're going to have fucking you're going, cancer. Yeah. You're going to wind up with it. I, I like that. I like that a lot. I hadn't thought of that. Good call. Plus, we already know that Nally Corman would shave her head. Now, and we yeah, yeah, she shaved her head. No, she <laughs> shaved her head in that other Jewish movie. Uh, when uh, she the was professional. The I can't think of which one it was. Oh, fire me through a body. No, not the professional. The professional, so the she made She had a crew cut. No, not she, a crew cut, she, 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 was, she, a, she was a she was a wife of a, a Jewish. I was like a rabbi or something, but you know they they shave their heads and wear wigs. It's like part yeah. of their religion. I don't yeah. I don't know I don't know I don't remember what movie it was, but she did like she did that for real. She was that dedicated to the role. Yep. and that that alone like leads me into my next. That point. gives us hope. Oh, I honestly. was thoroughly against. Natalie Portman being cast as Lady Thor. And I'm going to call her Lady Thor until I'm fucking told by Marvel otherwise. And I don't, like I said, I don't mean that Thor with tits. I mean Lady Thor in proper, ba- I will bow in front yeah, of you, yeah. fucking goddess ability. of thunder, Lady Thor. I'd call her Titted Thor, but I don't know. I know you will. That's wrong. He's right. Uh, <laughs> Natalie Portman was out of the role. She was done with it. She was tired of it because of what I read saying she was bored with the role. Bored with the role. And now, as far as I'm concerned, that warrants an immediate go fuck yourself. But, from what I was led to understand from uh, another basement viewer commenting on uh, a particular post about Natalie Portman and being Lady Thor, he said that she just wanted more out of the character. She wasn't, like, bored with it. Uh, she just, you know, you wanted more out of your job. And, I mean, who doesn't want more responsibility Absolutely. and a bigger sure. fucking paycheck to, to boot? Why well, didn't she demand that? She was the biggest star on the damn set. I said, Absolutely. And yeah. maybe she couldn't at the time. At the time yeah. She didn't have the power. to Because at the time, that story wasn't written yet. Well, well, so true. I got, I, true. I, I got a defense for Natalie Portman for sure. I mean, in in that regard... If she just wanted more of a role, I'm all for it. I, she's a great actress, and yes. I. But she also strikes me as one of those actresses that would just be like, mm, hmm, you know, turn your nose up at a role at a given notice because it doesn't suit you. But if you, if this is the role you wanted, this is what you were shooting for, and now you got it, fucking go for it, girl. Give it your all. I'm all for it because yeah. I actually asked Ramon because he's the biggest Thor fan I know. Like, yo, I, I texted you, what, like a day after that shit was announced, whatever? Like, yo, you like the, you know, the female Thor story, right? That was great. That and was great. yeah, you did. Yeah. Was the what was your best one hang story up? that came out that year? Well, you had one, one hang up yes. about yes. it. Yeah. Oh, how she got the hammer, the whole not worthy nonsense. Right, and I don't even think they're going to go that route no, because they, 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 they can't. can't. Like, yeah. Where's the hammer? Wasn't it destroyed? There's a whole time travel issue. If they're gonna have an interesting no, time explaining. No, I, 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 no, not for nothing. I really hope they do go that route. It'll never be able to get trouble? more. In it'll, there. it'll rebuild. Oh, the unworthy thing. They can't get that. Nah. I really hope they go. Because he was shown worthy when he time traveled to the past and grabbed the hammer. Yeah, but it's destroyed now. So now it'll rebuild. Is it destroyed? Did it not, they her. obviously fuck with the time stream. Yeah, they fuck with the time stream. That what? That them fuck with the time stream. Granted, this is all speculation and shit. Yes, yes. I'll. Them fuck with the time tree probably deemed them unworthy because they fuck with the time tree in the first place. I got I got I got Well, that's an interesting idea. I didn't think of that. And like, you know, mind you They fuck with the time tree to make things good. No, let's let us let us say let's say hypothetically speaking, let's say Jane wasn't wasn't part of the snapture or the blip. Hmm. Let's <clears> say <throat> in those five years she got cancer. Okay. So when we go to fucking Love and Thunder, she's basically on her deathbed. After the events of fucking Endgame. Yeah. Okay. And the hammer comes to her. Yeah. I'm fucking in. That'd be cool. What if he gives her the hammer? To cure her. But see, my see the I, thing is, though, is that the way they left while. Endgame off is that he's already he's left. Taken up he's the already medical. left the planet. He's taken up That's the true. He's well, already left. So, so they're going to have to... I mean, it, it's, it's apparently obvious <clears throat> that Thor 4 is going to come out before... Guardians. As Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's yeah. just call it that. 
Ah, uh, so how is he going to get back to Earth? What's what's actually going to happen? And I'm very intrigued to see. Well, his, his new hammer could do a bifrost. Bri- bifrost. That's true. I'm very intrigued to see if the Guardians will play a role in this. I like the idea of the Guardians being in Thor and Thor being in the Guardians movie. Yeah. You know, like a, yeah. like a kind of you know flip flop. Yeah. Of Chris uh, Hemsworth. Uh, Chris, Chris Pratt, Pratt dynamic Pratt is yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. They it have is. some of the like. It's always funny to me to see like I mean Chris Pratt coming from Parks and Recreation. You kind of expect it from second greatest yeah. blow-up of all time. Chris, Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Is a, he's a big dude. Great, great. He has guy. some of the greatest comedic timing I've ever yeah, yeah, yeah. seen yes. in an act. Yes. He, you know, and when you get a big dude like that who can sit there and make fun of himself and laugh at himself, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know, there's just something about it. Like fucking Thor Bjornsson from the, you know, from Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, yeah. When he did the water commercials. Yes. 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 You know, like, you get a guy who can laugh at himself, it's just... I don't know, there's, there's something really there's special something about that. There's something very endearing about that. Yeah, and it, it warms you up to them, and you're like, all right, I want to laugh with this guy, I want to chill with this guy, I want to have a beer with him. So I'm going to throw this at you guys. So let's say, after the final battle with fucking Thanos, after the battle was done, the hammer never was with Thor. It went straight to Jane. But it's no, no, it Cap took it. Yeah, Cap took no, it. No, but like, look, let's, let, let, let's, let's, let's say that, like, you know, my time is already fucked up because Cap went back. Yeah. Let's say because of time What if is everybody's up, wrong and it's just one linear timeline? It's one linear timeline. That's so much shit to happen. But, but, one but, issue I have with Jane having a hammer now is uh, it takes off the nice shine of Captain America just having a hammer. I think they should have given it more time. Not the next movie we see of Thor. Somebody else is going to have the hammer. Yeah, beta it, beta. It, it, it brings down the... The, the worthiness of, of it. I, I, I'm with that. I agree. Who, 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 who in the MCU is worthy of the hammer if they had a chance to pick it up? If anybody, me. other than uh, totally me, I could definitely do it. Yes. Well, other so Peter, totally Peter. <laughs> it bugged me that Vision carried it. Vision I understood why, why but it bugged me. I mean, it's like an elevator. You know, you put the hammer elevator. in the elevator, the elevator still goes up. Who, who else would be worthy? It's just a robot. It'd be cool if Thanos picked it up because he thought he was worthy. If it's all you mental. Know, not for nothing. Red Hulk picked up the hammer technically. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, yeah. in one of the greatest maneuvers ever. Yeah, but it was forced upon us. I didn't like that. I'm shit. gonna like okay, so I can't pick up the hammer and hit you. I'm gonna hit you with the hammer, and like that's fucking great. I or he picked up the it. earth around the hammer and blasted his face in. Sam Wilson. Sam Wilson picked it up. Sam Wilson. Oh yeah, picked up the answer. Did he? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. He's worried to pick up the hammer. Yeah, he picked up the answer. No, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't no, but no, no, he's in, he's worded to pick it up. You actually, in the MCU, yeah, he's worded to pick. No, in worded, MCU, he's worded to pick it up. I'm actually, I'm saying that. He, oh. Anthony Mackie, he's striking worded. vipers, is, is worded to pick it up. It's not a think. polar bear. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. No, no, but he's worded to pick it up. He's worded to pick it I up. I would say almost. I would say you, you got to give him a few years in the cap outfit to really get. No, no, no question. I'm saying like you, the question you asked was you know you know who's worth an MCU you to know, pick it up. You know who could pick it up? At the match. You know I don't think you, I don't think yet yet. I'll tell you who could pick it up in the MCU. The kid from Iron Man three that showed up at Iron Man's funeral that no one recognized who he was. He's worth picking up that hammer. Man. Nah, man, that's gonna be Kang, bro. <laughs> yeah, that exactly. kid's gonna be Kang. He's the third person you said that shit. That's Kang. He's Iron Lad, which means he's Kang. Yep. Tony Stark's daughter. Who's that story? No. For sure. yeah, for sure. She's too busy eating cheeseburgers. She's going to be like 800 pounds by the fucking time. No, man. Iron Man 4. We have a segue. Uh, um, Black Widow. She can't pick the hammer up. No. Yeah, she can never. She has red on the ledger. No, but as far as I see. <laughs> yes. And we saw some. Craddock says Squirrel uh, Girl. Concept for, art for, for Taskmaster. Oh, my God. Yes. yes. Now, a lot of people think this looks like shit. I will tell you this, te- you know, concept art is never to be taken I think concept art is great. I think, in in all honesty, I think he looks cool. He looks cool. I think at some point, and I'm all for, you know, like, uh, sensationalism in Russia or whatever. Yeah. They're advertising him as a super soldier or whatever. I think he needs the cape. He needs the cape for at least one it, seat. Taskmaster got a cape, yo. Yes. No, I mean, I mean, I white cape a la Moon Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yes, he does. Uh, he needs he, to have he the cape. He has the cape in a Spider-Man fucking video game. He needs the cape. He needs the cape for at least one scene before he inevitably loses it because oh, I think no I capes. The mode. So, so visually, to me, he looks like um, um, no capes. The crossbones. So I'm like that. That he looks a lot sense. like crossbones. Mm-hmm. I know, and, and that's like which apparently is not in the MCU. You. I thought he was dead, but apparently he's not dead. Now. Oh, he's not blowing dead. up isn't enough. Yeah, uh, apparently. apparently <laughs> no, apparently he got snapped back. Apparently, Frank Grillo survived. All right, cool. Okay. Apparently, Frank Grillo back with apparently he's survived. Master. But like, for what we learned from fucking Black Widow was that you know, fucking uh, David Harbour, he's fucking Red Guardian, which. That's a great surprise. It is. I never expected that. That, that, means, that means they're married. Red Guardians and Black Widow were married in his first appearance. Which is, I think is dope. That's that's a great story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll have multiple widows. That, that That's a necessity. Especially Richard. after the first widow we saw in um, Agent Carter. Yeah. She was awesome. Just having Rachel Vice in the movie alone mm-hmm. is, is a happiness for me. I too. agree. Sure. I agree. Think sure. Versus fucking the mummy. Yep. <laughs> But, like, just having her and, like, basically, you know, she's going to be the Iron Maiden. Like, they, they didn't say it, but it, she's basically the Iron Maiden. Right. So what do we think of uh, Baron Zemo actually donning the, the full pig, mask? The and I mask. fucking love it. Yeah. It's so much really? sense. Falcon and Winter Soldier is gearing up to be one of the <laughs> best things to come out on Disney+. Plus. That the, they just need to get good man. fight choreography. Man. Yep. They need to talk to the Daredevil guys. No, no, so I mean, really, no, like, just go back, up. go back to the guys that were the fucking, uh, fucking uh, Winter Soldier. Just bring those guys back. I, I, I love the theory. I just thought that world, world would be like strictly movies, so bring like TV. No, movies. no, no. So it's, we're actually this is Disney money. money. This is Disney money. We're actually there's no there's no, there's no realms. We're only looking at like five movies out of the eleven things that were announced. Ten things that were announced. We, we've got Thor: Love and Thunder. Uh, Shang-Chi. Sh- Blade, which could or could not be a movie. You know, it's still up in the air. The Eternals is going to be a movie. Yeah. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Start with Nightmare as the villain. Yeah. The Scarlet MCU's Witch. first horror movie. And, nice. and Scarlet Witch. Hey. With Nightmare as the villain, this could fucking work so with well. With Nightmare as the villain, they could have her in a, as a, in a scene wearing her original costume. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she yeah, would yeah. be an asshole and pulling that Leotard. Plus, you yeah. could have those tits in that costume. Of course. <laughs> uh, we've got Black Widow, Shang Chi being a movie, and that's it. So you got one, two, three, one four, with fucking uh, with fucking Mon- adult Mon- yeah. Loki, I, I love the name of that. One TV show. TV show. One of TV. Yeah. I. You saw the font for Loki? Did anybody? Yes. Think that was weird. Yes, very. No. Yeah, it's well, it's supposed terrible. to all be no, different no. because he's. Basically, the idea is this is Loki traveling through time. So I understand the font being different. As a graphic uh, artist, you'll, you you get it. Like the, the font is different in each letter because it represents him traveling through different periods of time. Okay, I got it. It's nuts. I hate the time part, but I got it. Yeah, I understand. All right, all right. But it's him traveling through different periods of time affecting that time from the JFK assassination to, let's say, the Vietnam War, right, Korean this, War. could be anything. could be this, fucking this anything. This is evil Loki. This is evil Loki, right? This isn't the Loki that we've come to know and love in the Mad Ragnarok. Loki. It's not the Matt Damon Loki. No, it is not. All right, but pretty best, much like what did it do? Best MCU trailer: Cats, starring Tigra. I want Tigra in MCU. I do too. I do too. I want actually no. I want Tiger and Wonder Man. I want the whole West Coast Avengers in the. Film. I want Wonder With Man. The fucking cat I would trailer, love to man. See West Coast Avengers. They need to stay away from current Wonder Man where he's a pacifist. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. Like That's that. horrendous. I like that actually. There's too many, well, like, too many violence. Super- no. Pete, what? His power is all based on violence. Well, Pete, it's not, ionic. Exactly. Violence. Demetrius did bring up Ooh, a his very, brother. very very important part that Cats. that was dropped in the movie. musical. That trailer was fucking terrifying. I'm I have, see I, I, that I, I, shit, I, I, I'm going to watch it. Oh, my God. I'm watch it. Why not? Watch it. Oh, my God. No. That, you man. have to watch it's, it. No, watch it's it. fucking nightmare fuel. I understand. It's, I won't watch it. No, you won't Listen, watch it. Listen, I, I had to look up photos of it to fucking put in visuals for the last episode. I'm not watching it. I won't watch it. Have you seen the trailer? I did. It's horrible, and I will watch anything with Dame Judi Dench in it. But I have yeah. a lot of reserves about. Yeah. Oh my god. No, it's, I will, it's cats no, and the Valley of Madness. It's I watched cat. fucking <laughs> Taylor Swift with cat face, and yeah. I'm like, I'm I'm good. Nah, I'm just never. Elba. Nope. Nope. It's, it's a hell of a cat. No. Nope. 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 Nope.
pouring out catnip. What kind of socialist shit is that? Dude, All right, let's, let's just start again. Yeah, dude, way. Kanye interrupts her with the co- with the cat face. Also, man, you're such an asshole. Like, wow, you're such an asshole. But they don't even look like that you. was a big like shot. First of all, their tails are in their asshole. Their tails are in their asshole. It's not above their asshole. <sighs> their tails are in their asshole. How do they shit? Do they shit on their tail? And Jason Derulo, did you see him? Dude, when he fucking moonwalked into that pop like shit, that was very disturbing. Let's go to some speculations. We've got bombs from the shadow. Oh, my God. You wrote them down? Yeah, I got them. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Sony is considering making Craven the Hunter black and from Wakanda for Spider-Man 3. Whoa, that'd be great. Which they're considering to adapt Craven's last hunt. Now, mm. I am okay with the first part. You want to make Craven black? I don't care. You want to adapt Craven's Last Hunt too early. Way yeah, too fucking say, early. Tom Holland is not the guy you want for Craven's Last Hunt. <laughs> you hunt down Andrew Garfield, you hunt down uh, uh, the other guy, but you don't Switch. hunt down Tom Holland yet. It's too fucking early for Craven's Last Hunt. You want to introduce Craven? Fine. You want to introduce Craven? Introduce However, being that Dimitri was introducing Far From Home as a white Russian looking dude, mm-hmm. it would make sense to have Craven being Sergei Kravenov. Being a Russian fucking dignitary. Yeah. Yeah. But that's just me. What do I know? I've only seen the previous movies. I don't... I I honestly think Craven is a role that could be tossed back and forth. But but in in this case... In this case, (laughs) you've already established your halfway to Craven with Dimitri being the chameleon. Just go with it. Just... Keep him to his Russian origins. Nobody cares. Somebody wants to know if isn't he also the chameleon's brother? Yes, he is his half brother. Yeah. On his mama's side. Skeet, y'all. Skeet, skeet. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I got a burp coming. It's coming quick. Oh no. So, ready, 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 ready. Nah, it's not ready. Moon stars, moon stars, moon stars, moon star. Don't do that. <laughs> Did it work? Okay. Usually <laughs> <laughs> works. <laughs> Some members of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will be joining S.W.O.R.D. for Hulu after the series ends in Season 7 next year. S.W.O.R.D., damn. So we can already name Ming-Na Wen, hopefully, and obviously Please. Chloe Bennett. And Chloe's. with any luck, uh, Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo. Gosh, she's fine. I, I, I she see, is so hot. They don't show her finest on their show. She don't, she don't show it off enough. No. That's because Chloe Bennett's too busy being the star with her fucking small tits, but, you know, she's fucking cute as a button. Yeah, her boyfriend. Great teeth. Phil Coulson. Did she get her teeth fixed? Because yes, they're, they're fucking with her teeth. Like, they're showing her it's, teeth it's a like lot. It's like a Hollywood thing. You it's gotta get teeth fixed. Is that horrible? She, no, she got veneers. She got veneers. She did. Okay. No. I don't give a fuck, but I'm just saying I know. Shit, I wish I had veneers. Shit, they're, 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 I'm just saying I know. You get your money's worth. Like Shit, for her, it's probably free under the SAGO insurance. Yes. I'm just saying oh, I noticed. Three more credits. I'll be we excited. noticed, Chloe. We noticed. <laughs> but we still love you. Yes, we do. Also, AOS has not canceled. It's finishing and becoming something else. Further developing its cosmic angle. Yes, it's becoming sword. It is not stopping its shield. It's becoming sword. Which we reported a year ago. Years ago. Blade is being planned for an R-rated release and Good. under the Fox banner. Anything less would be stupid. All right, listen. Everybody's asking about what's As tonight. Charles Barkley would say, well, anything less fingers. would be uncivilized. Really? <laughs> yeah, I took it back there. I don't know. I really? took it back there. Wow. What did Demetrius say? What? Everybody's asking about Wesley Snipes' blade. What about Sticky Fingers, man? Who? Who? What? Now? What? No, that was great. Go Sticky Fingers was fucking blade on Spike TV, the Blade series. Oh, Only real Jesus. OGs know that shit. Only real OGs know that shit. I don't even know that shit. Oh, oh my I'm god. It was a Blade now. TV series. Yeah, I remember that now. Fingers. Yeah, yeah. Bokey and Wumba actually showed was up. Was it about Blade Blade? No, yeah, Blade Blade Blade. Blade. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. It was just on Spike TV before they had money. No shit. Oh, man. Good shit. Thank you. Good shit. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Good shit. Oh, wow. Marvel Zombies is being developed for Hulu's line of Marvel horror shows. This stems from a very small segment of graphic that shows Captain America as a zombie in the What If 
logo. We've already seen Zombie Iron Man. And it was we awesome. have already seen Zombie Iron Man in Spider-Man's hallucination in Far From Home. So it's Whoa. not that far of a stretch. See, see, you, Spoiler alert. See, see, I heard something similar to that. That Animated? No, 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 no. That the, the, our first, our first uh, vision, a vision of the Marvel Zombies might be in freaking Doctor Strange, the multiverse. Uh, right? Could that be. Sense. That'd be great. Could be. That's what, I, that's, that, that's what I heard, you know, through my sources. That, that might be the first. I don't movie. see why that couldn't happen and then this happens yeah. afterwards. Yeah, that's going to be a big movie. Yep. Oh, the rounding ripples the all over the I don't, I, How could they, they do that? I think that honestly should be animated. Given so. give it the, yes. uh, you know, the, the celebrity voices, but I think you'd have an easier time animating that than you would doing it live action. Yeah. I think you'd have a more believable time you, animating they'll it. do, like, the spider so thing where they'll go different... They do. Different Ooh, bigger, different stronger, animation. faster. But, but the animation has to be Love, Death, and Robots. I think it would yeah, be yeah. faster. First that. episode, I think yeah. it would come the out animation faster. is sexy. Yeah. The whole series is sexy. It is. But the animation in the first one is ideal for, like, zombies. Which apparently we're supposed to get a release date for fucking Love, Sex, Love Death, and Robots Season 2. Uh, within the next two weeks. All right, let me ask Fantastic. You, can I, can I Wait, I got one more, one more, yeah. one more. Ironheart is scheduled for phase five. Woo! That's what we're talking about. Riri Williams. Riri Williams. With oh. any luck, if they do it right, we'll be Shuri. And or, or fucking uh, Marcy Martin from freaking Blackish. Just to hell with Riri. Or maybe they can change the role like, to I want to see Shuri, the actress herself, with a superhero be... Costume. Iron Man. No. No. I just, no, no. I just think she's great. No, no, I'd rather, I'd I think rather Shuri it, be Shuri. No, she um, should she should shine on her own. No, they need to combine those she characters because she's never gonna be Black Panther. She's never gonna be. How do you know that? Because you have fucking Chadwick Boseman being the fucking be all end all of no. African American character. In the story you line, can't supersede he him. the king of the dead in uh, the necropolis you of Wakanda. You can't fucking supersede she was him. The freaking Black not, Panther. Yes, in the comics they're where you've just, had Black Panther not, they're, since the 1960s. There's no way they're going to necropolis in the, in the movie. I'm not Absolutely. I'm saying, but they, you could do both. Never going to fucking happen. Never going to happen. ready for necropolis at Thank all. you. What? It's <clears throat> never gonna happen. Dude, we've problem. kind of already seen it every time he, he goes in that know. weird we, sleeping shit. Yes, oh, but God, Chadwick God. Boseman oh, will be oh, the Black oh, Panther really for so. here on in. Right. God, Shuri God. needs to be her own character. Shuri, Shuri. The female Re-re. Black Panther outfit is she's, awesome. She's going ne- to be ne- the one to take over as Iron Man. I promise you. Next issue of Iron Man has Shuri and Rick and Alright. Alright, so, um. Dates have been set for shooting fucking th- uh, Thor Love, Love and Thunder. I thought you said Thundercats. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be a 40 and sure right right left and right. Yeah, probably. All right, so Thor mm-hmm. Love and Thunder will film in Sydney, Australia. Of course. Because, you know, Chris, Chris is from there. Yeah. Right after freaking Shang-Chi uh, finally films. Uh, they, they start Shang-Chi in the Ten Rings starts filming November. Mm-hmm. And Where? And no, no, uh, multiple regions in uh, in Asia and uh, LA sound sound stage. You think he's gonna have the ten rings, like literally ten <laughs> rings, no, no, like no, no, powered no, and everything? No, 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 like that. Like we're gonna get the man. I think he's looking for the Infinity Gems. I think that's how he's gonna power the fucking so rings. Ten rings. Yeah, I think it's gonna have something to do with that. I think I I think it's gonna have something to do with time travel and the Infinity Rings, something like that. I don't know. I'm just saying. It's it's just so, an idea. So just weird. an idea. No, for 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 my for uh, for my sister, I just got it now. They're gonna they're gonna start filming that, give or take February March. Mm. That's when Love and Thunder is gonna start filming in Sydney. All right, so, just got that. Just how we're going. Is there. Idris coming oh. back? He should. I mean, Ragnarok is all about rebirth. <clears throat> well, Ragnarok is all about rebirth. Well, if they pay him enough, he'll be back. Yeah. Uh. yeah. So we've got some questions and comments from. Our favorite Peach Basement crew. Absolute ass. Do you have a favorite item that somebody has sent to the basement or are they all pretty awesome things? First of all, anything that anybody sends to the basement is yep. just fucking awesome. Thank you for my back we, at the t-shirt. Love we, you. Yeah, seriously. We can't thank you guys enough. I gave Greg that t-shirt. I wear my t-shirt with pride. I don't I don't know if I could actually hammer down a favorite I got two. Offhand, you got two? 
Yes. One, because I'm biased. X-Men number one, Sam so Claremont, slammed. Woo! That was a Clyde Christmas gift. That's yes. a little different, Legend. but yes. And then, S- Sinestro hooked me up with Lego Voltron. Sinestro did hook you up for a birthday present with Lego Voltron. That was that just like sexiness true. right there. Uh, I think the great, the one of the best gifts that has been sent to the basement has been the uh, Hulk rampaging statue. Oh, the Hulk box we got. Yeah, Jesus, I she was that 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 thing. Gift? Yes, yes, that was. I do not remember that. Yeah. I think I was there back then. That was years ago. So yes, it was. Years ago. That's lit, dude. It is. I remember just that, absolutely wonderful to be able to get things from fans and friends. It's like, you know, we don't ask for it. And we, we never would. Uh, but it's just so fucking awesome for you guys to just send us stuff. And we we try to send you back stuff. And we try to reciprocate as best as humanly possible. Whether it's with Patreon or uh, Indiegogo, Kickstarter, or whatever. Or just in general, like, hey, we think you'll like this. And we fucking send it to you. It, you know, you guys are the best fans and, above all, friends that a lowly Brooklyn podcast could ask for. You're all fucking awesome. How you doing? Which, by the way, is one of the greatest names I've ever seen on, on you YouTube. You How you doing? How you doing? Said How you doing? on the, doing? On the Maria DeAngelis episode, love her, she's great. Well, how you doing? I'm glad you like her because she'll be back next week. Maria DeAngelis, a.k.a. Vemparello, will be back on the show next Thursday night, live, coming at you, Peach Basement style. Uh, not your typical interview like we did last time. This is being no holes bar, just live craziness, getting like drunk like we now. see now. Yeah, so, you you went through the ringer. You, like, you did your first interview, now the rest is all zany. Like, yep. you know. Fair enough. Yeah. You had your first oh, yeah. edited one. Now this one, I'm not fucking around. No Uncensored more. and uncut. Uncensored. You're because if you think I'm bothering to edit this, you got another Fuck thing man. coming. It's just getting matched with the audio, and it's going up on the tubes. Is she, is she getting photos in the new? You're <laughs> here because you're hot, and that's what. <laughs> that's that. Welcome to 1954. <laughs> 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 I like that. <clears throat> that was a good white guy in 1954 accent. Thank I you like, very much. I know, I really appreciate it. No, it was good. I think it was really good. Can no. you do it again? You just said it's a white boy deep inside of you? Uh, I mean, hello, I'm light skinned. Like, <laughs> I'm a white person inside of me all the time. The Thomas Jefferson part of him. Like, it's osmosis. <laughs> Miguel Torres said. What do you say there, buddy? What's up? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh my god. What's up, guys? I would like to see comic book stands and the rare back issues and variants they have. This is in reply to me asking last week, what do you guys want to see at NYCC? So, thank you, Miguel, for hitting us up. More tips. What are we doing? Also, interviews with writers like Garth Ennis, Jonathan Hickman, and Brian Azzarello, if possible. Don't know about that. Those are hard to come by, but we'll try. Yeah, they usually schedule really tight. Regardless, regardless, I'll be glad just to see you guys going around the con floor, catching all the fun. I'm hoping to see you guys there and possibly shake your hands and shoot the shit, if possible. Bro, the best way to hit us up for Comic Con is like through either Instagram or Twitter private message. Just DM us, and uh, we'll check that shit uh, as regularly as humanly possible. Oh yes, uh, and we'll try to meet up with you at Comic Con. We'll also, as the day draws closer, we'll try to come up with like a time and a meeting place for. You know, everybody to come through and everybody like, we'll, we'll take some pitches and Great whatnot. Segue. What? Great segue. Great segue? Oh, yeah, it's coming. So, 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 uh, for those who went to our first meet and greet, I freaking down the hatch. Thank you very much in advance. Yes. We're working on another one for August. 
And I believe August should be late in the game, so this way yes. maybe we skip September and then we do early October. No, we're, yes, we're, please. We're, we're working. We're talking the fucking them about Comic Con. Yep. And if we and we could do a freaking, we could we, we could do a Comic Con at fucking either down the hatch or one of the many freaking uh, locations. It's on and popping. They oh, want right. us back. Yeah. They loved us for being there. They said they they didn't expect how much we, people we were gonna bring there. And they had a blast. They loved us there. Nice. So that the let us know and that our I'll be there next month. So thank you very much. Yep. For that. I can definitely try if we can't do down at, like we're looking for down the hatch either Wednesday or Sunday. Yeah. Either the day before Comic Con or the last day of. And you know, if anything, I can always talk to a couple of local bars in my neighborhood that maybe we can get. Oh, something we have, going no, we have automatically have a place. We just have to pick a date. We have yep. a place. We have a place. Fantastic. So awesome. Yeah. Shout awesome. out to Roddy and the, the lovely staff uh, at Down the Hatch, especially uh, our, our amazing bartender Sam that took care of us when we was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's gonna be a great yeah. fucking time. Yeah. The guys, the atomic wind. Because I think we'll if we back. if we establish something going forward in the beginning of the month, as far as the holidays and the winter goes, because Christmas, like Thanksgiving, they're all at the end of the month. If we yes. can get something going at the beginning of the month, it's be, that'd be, dope. be and which helps out for us. Like Comic uh, <clears throat> Con this year is the first week of October. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. always early, so yeah. it'll it'll set a good precedent going forward. We can get right in and do it. Yep. So it'll be good shit. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where, are, where do I leave off? Miguel Torres said, all right, best comic show on YouTube or whatever other platform there is. Thank you, sir, for having very little taste. <laughs> we appreciate you more than we can say. Thanks for asking for our input. I can't wait for NYCC. It's the only time of the year I can relax and truly enjoy myself. Speak for yourself. Needless to say, I am an uber nerd, and I'm glad to have found kindred spirits in all of you guys. We're glad you found us too, bro. We love having you. Uh, honestly, I, I fucking hate Comic Con because I don't get to relax. <laughs> there's no, there's no relaxing about those four days for me. Yeah. But really I'm glad you really get isn't. to relax and have fun because honestly, I, I want to hear all about you guys relaxing and having fun uh. at Comic Con. Make sure you hit us up, questions at PeachBasement.com, Facebook.com, forward slash PeachBasement, Instagram, Twitter, etc. At PeachBasement. And let we us know what you. you're reading, what you're doing with yourself, where you're going, where you're vacationing, where you're going to Comic-Con, etc. We always want to hear from you. We love hearing from you guys. We do you guys are the feel. only fucking reason we do this nonsense every damn blasted week. For real. Mm-hmm. Thanks for always tuning in, guys. We appreciate you. While you're on the subject, hit up represent.com forward slash store forward slash Peach Basement. Get yourself a Peach Basement t-shirt, a Peach Basement tank top. We got the Peach Basement Rick Sellers tank tops and the Rick Sellers Peach Basement t-shirts with me and Ramon on it. We got the Peach Basement charity shirts like Peach Basement supports Project Harmony Pete's Basement supports our veterans, and Pete's Basement supports the Hero Initiative. Remember, 100% of the sales of those shirts go toward those charities, and that is tax deductible, so make sure you save your receipts. Go and sign up for the haul so you can catch all the news that is nudes coming out of Pete's Basement. We, I said right I, did, I said nudes. Said nudes. So we said that nudes. might have been a Freudian slip. Uh, I yeah, want Pete's I, Basement. I, don't send nudes to Pete's basement because send we're <laughs> afraid. <laughs> Don't send us any Richards. Don't. Send the Richards. Do not. Traumatize them. Send All them. the yeah, news that is news out of Pete's basement and what we're doing over the weekend when we're not in the basement, we share with you nice. in the Pete's basement newsletter. So go on Pete'sBasement.com forward slash the hall and subscribe. All we send is one email per week, so you're not going to get spammed. Don't you worry. Not going to get bombarded. Nope. And, well, I think that about does it. Make sure you go and follow Breaking Nerd News for all your up-to-date stuff on all things nerd-related. Make sure you hit up anyonecomics.com. 
and make sure you let Demetrios know that you're from the basement because you're getting a 20%, 20% discount? Yeah. Let me, That's let me, fucking ridiculous. Can I shout out one person? Of course yes. you can. I you got, can shout out more than one. Let me, let me tell you something. I got a customer, thanks to this show, who's become a regular of mine. So I'm going to shout nice. out Mark. Uh, his uh, Twitter handle is Nexus Verbal. He follows this show <clears throat> adamantly. Nice. He came in one day. And then, like, just, like, connect with me and want to connect with you guys. But this has been a real, one of the best guys I've ever gotten to know, man. Well, Mark, we are awesome. thankful yeah. for you. Nexus Verbal on, on Twitter. Hit us up, bro. We, we want to hear from you. We don't only really want Demetrios to suck up all the friendship here. <laughs> she. He's weird. <laughs> we want we want to hear from you, too. My what do you got? Uh, I want to give a shout out to all the 600 plus followers on Breaking Nerd. 600! Oh, 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 like, we started this shit a year ago, just about humble and circumstance, and like, here we are Take now. <laughs> and like, I'm very grateful, I'm very humbled. And, I'm a like, victim of circumstance. Literally, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to thank you guys personally. Thank you for the thank you for the love, the support, and the patience. Because like, this is a full time job. Yo, can, can I complain? And I have you, motherfuckers don't you, even didn't know. The, you didn't break the news on cats, man. That's the shit I've been looking forward to the most. I didn't want to torture all our followers. Cause that's just that, no. That's the shit I love, man. No, no. Cause like, if I would have put that trailer on fucking breaking their news. They would have hated me. I would have lost followers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was probably. They're like, "What the fuck is this shit?" And then unfollow. But well, that being said, I just want to thank you guys so much. Uh, we are working on Brent. We're working on a new thing. Merchandise is coming. It is yes, coming. Yes, sir. Because I've been a lot of freaking mentions in my DMs. And on that emails. note. Uh, not only is the Breaking Nerd News t-shirt coming to represent.com forward slash store forward slash Pete's Basement, which will be up this weekend, so by the time you YouTubers are seeing this, it will be up there. We also have two brand new tiers on the Pete's Basement Patreon. Yes! So thank you to all of you who have donated so far to the Pete's Basement Patreon. You guys are Fucking awesome. We now have a $20 tier, which will net you a free, exclusive Ripped Productions comic book. This is a very exclusively limited edition thing that me, Roger, and the rest of the Ripped crew did. And we want to present it to you. And also, we finally have a $30 tier, which involves all of the other stuff that you get on the previous years, plus a Pete's Basement t-shirt, sized and colored to your order. So if you subscribe to that, let us know what kind of t-shirt you want, and we will get it out to you. May I, may I, may I ask you <clears> of course. Here? Uh, you know what? Throw on a Breaking Nerd News t-shirt, too. Throw on a Breaking Nerd News t-shirt. Here. Yes. You heard you it here first. For You're bucks. getting two t-shirts yes. for 30 bucks. <laughs> Fucking worth it, man. Yes, yes, yes. You just can't beat that. Really? Can't. Well, fuck yeah. You really so can. go on represent.com forward slash store forward slash Pete's Basement. Go spend some. Go spend some money. It's thirty dollars. Uh. I don't spend on dumb shit. Why don't you spend on good shit? Right. Yeah. You could have spent uh. that money on, on cheap that. ass booze, <laughs> cheap ass women, or cheap good ass comic ass. book stuff. Good comic book stuff. Good comic book stuff. And we will see you guys next week. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. Thanks for my man Demetrios coming out of the woodwork. Yeah, All yeah. y'all asking about him. He's alive. He's well. Anyone comics doing great. Doing great. And, uh, well, I think that just about does it. I got a four-day weekend to look forward to. I'm, I'm off I'm tomorrow. It's my birthday weekend. I don't give a shit. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Greg. Greg. On Saturday. Yes. Happy birthday to my old man on Monday. That's right. And God bless him. Yes, God, yes, bless. Yes. God bless okay. him, man. Thank you all for tuning in. We appreciate you more than words can possibly say. We will see you next week. Associate motherfuckers. Mm. Oh, Jesus. And on that note. Stan Lee got a street in the Bronx. Yes, yes, yes.
Yes. yes. Do we yes. know where it is? Yes. University of Seattle between 176 and... Oh, shit. Um, I f- it's a name street. I f- yeah. Because uh, I know he went to Clinton High School. I don't he know, did. Like, he went to Clinton, Clinton High School. school. It's where he grew up. LeBron, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, 176 and up. Yeah. My, friend, my friends with the Bronx Science and Clinton High School used to jump Bronx Science, man. All that has to happen yeah, now is Mayor de Blasio, sure. the asshole himself, has to sign off on which it. Which he will. Which yeah, is he basically will. a no he brainer. He's in attention for you. University between Brant and West 176. There you go. There you go. Brant. It was Brant. So hopefully when that's all said and done and the sign is lifted, we will have some video up of you, you know, for you guys sure. at Stanley Place, Stanley Street, Stanley, whatever it is called. We'll see you next week. This show is going up fucking raw because <laughs> yeah, I'm not editing this. <laughs> raw. <laughs> the audio and the video and I'm throwing the shit together and I'm uploading it. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm lazy. So uh, That's Hannah in the background basically you. cursing my good name. Peach Basement is copyrighted 2019. Ripped Productions. All rights reserved, so go fuck yourself. She yeeted. She yeeted. She should have known. I mean, you ever saw a beautiful woman just throw shit across the roll? It's one, it's a yeah. wonderful yeah. scene. Yeah. It really Pretty is. Much. It's a lot of notes, too. Yeah. It's a lot. It is a lot of notes. Yeah, there's a lot of notes. I was trying to signal you, like, with sign language and shit. I got carried away by a little spider that came across. Was it a spider? I'm so glad it's a spider and not a roach, because I seen you. Like, you was mad distracted. And I'm like... Oh, my God. Yo, there's usually fucking cockroaches in my house today. Like, I like... I will empty a hand of can of raid on a fucking roach. I was not worried about it. I love fucking cockroach. I had to pull out the fucking... The fucking Nike ACG to kill that motherfucker. I hate roaches. <laughs> I will. I'll let a spider live. I don't give a fuck. Uh, a roach. I'll empty a half a can of raid on a motherfucker. He's going to die. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that shit. Summertime, motherfucker. You are not allowed to live. I caught one of them cocksuckers under my comic book boxes. Are we done? Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> he was under my comic book boxes. Uh, I took him. Are you done? Are I captured done? him alive. I took him outside. And I said to burn him alive, as would be the punishment, proper. And as I'm burning him after alcoholing him and setting him ablaze, I'm attacked by a roach in my neck. He just attacked, like he just flew oh, into my neck. You with, like with I, I think that these motherfuckers are either telepathic or they just communicate yeah. with each other. Like I'm in danger. Help. Because out of nowhere, I'm just attacked by a fucking roach in the neck, son. I mean, that don't happen. I'm just attacked by a flying yeah. fucking roach in the yeah. neck while this motherfucker yeah. is burning to yeah. death. And I said, nah, son. So I stepped on half of him so he was still alive. So I coated him in alcohol and I set his ass on fire, too. Because yeah, nobody's really fucking right. attacking yeah. my fucking yeah. neck. Yeah. That shit ain't yeah. fucking going yeah. 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 Daryl like said, not, "If I eat himself, one man. more slice of apple pie, they gonna take that. my toe." <laughs> <laughs> Did we cut? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> and leave that in. And leave that in. And leave that in. <laughs> That's totally staying in. I thought it cut, but no. oh you no, can no, cut no, now. Cut Are you sure? Yeah. I'm useful now. Now you're good. Okay. <laughs>